just it. If you ever had a second chance, you know what I'm saying? You better be thankful. If you ever had a second time around, man, I've been through it. I lost out and I faced what the first wrong. Feel no hope. Bad thoughts choosing to die, go home When I was sitting up on that gray hill My mind went through these zones like you got none Lost everything, it's no good feeling alone Ay, pockets had no dollars Life didn't make sense How did I end up back where I started? What did I miss? I went from condos to pop's house On calls, now bus routes And the one person who had the key to my heart Took it and checked out Let's get it, talk or take a fade episode we don't know we just keep it going the marathon continues we are running laps man we got paul p we got a you special guest know. in the house today how you doing paul p man we got a real good. man everything good. man we got a real one today Excited, that's my paul you know? p impression man yeah. we got a real we one. got a real one in the building we got today. the homie that's bone up in here we man. got we got one of the realest ones up in la to come tap in with us you know what i mean uh how's it going for you this week that's bone Man, you know, I ain't making no noise, man. I appreciate the invite. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's kind of big for me. Yeah, well, hey, I appreciate, you know, you know, I appreciate the fact that you had enough nuts to come and, and, and jump on our podcast. You know what I mean? The simple fact that uh, we got a platform and people, they nitpick at the platform instead of trying to come and, and view their opinions. That's what Talk or Take a Fade is about. It's right. about no matter how you feel about Cowboy, no matter how you feel about what's going on, we're going to come talk about it. Right. If we got disagreements, we'll handle it other ways. Talk you know what I mean? So that's what Talk or Take a Fade is come to the table. Right. You feel me? So we can get those issues out there like grown men. You know yes, what I mean? Sir. So by you you taking that step to come to this podcast that was a grown man decision like fuck what they saying i'm gonna say this and i'm gonna express myself and i'm a grown man that's what you saying i'm a grown man i'm gonna right. stand on my 10 toes no matter what nobody say period you know what i'm saying so i appreciate that because that yes, take sir. that take a lot right there because yes, you know Definitely. since yes, i sir. yeah it did take a lot you feel me you know well, i won't lie you feel me it did take a lot you well, know what i'm saying i uh i hollered at a few people you know what i'm saying you know, as you a little should. bit of both sides and shit, just yeah. to see the ins and outs. Yeah, just to see like what the uh, temperature was gonna be. You feel me? Yeah. And you know, a lot of people was like more so like, you should go. That's a good look for you. Yeah. Fuck what everybody else talking about. Yeah. Basically, in layman terms. Yeah. You feel and, me? And we want and don't let. And I got my own opinion. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You feel me? Exactly. Before anybody. Yeah, exactly. And I was I was gonna say we saw I saw a lot of your stuff on uh, um you know on, on YouTube and everything like that and you definitely got a message. I was like, wow, S Bone definitely got a story, you yeah. know, to tell and people need to hear that story. Right. You know, so I was I was very, very impressed with, you know, uh, you know, everything that you have 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 said, everything, you know, in your past and, and everything and um and the message you put out there when it come down to the community and wanting to change the community because right. that's what that's all we want to do here, man. You right. know, just I'm really barely know. scratching the surface because you know it's like see this internet is crazy. Like they didn't had this like a long time ago, you feel me? Like who would have knew it was gonna be some 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 computer nigga like the square shit, the apple, this shit that's basically what this is. It done got flat, little you feel me? It's the same shit, the big old Apple shit back in high school. You know, niggas probably don't know because these niggas is young. But this like, I look at this shit like a computer. YouTube, Facebook, all this shit. This shit is just basically the same. Like when I'm, it's the same, bro. Mm -hmm. I go live and text and write shit on each platform. Whichever one is catching, that's just what it is. You feel me? I don't change my two-step. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, but definitely. it's like to really tackle what I'm really talking about. I know niggas gonna try, man, I'ma be like nigga, nigga, I'm a marked man, nigga. But niggas that know me know I don't care. Cause nigga, either you coming to shake my hand or you already popping. Cause you know you, you definitely not gonna just get at me any kind of way. I'm talking about that's the people that know me. You know what I'm saying? But I don't really, you know, try to project that shit out there. People just gonna look at you and they gonna judge you anyway until they really sit down and chop it up with you. Be like, you know what? Cause that's kind of cool, you feel me? I thought cause was X, Y, Z, whatever. Woo -woo. You feel me? But it is what it is, you feel me? I'm up for the challenge. Like I always say, I'm meeting hell, nigga. Face to face, nigga. Armored up with a strap and a Bible, nigga. You feel me? Because I ain't coming from no bullshit, but I'm meeting hell, nigga. Lucifer, whoever, nigga. I'm meeting them face to face, nigga, on my mama, nigga, with a Bible and a gun, nigga. Straight like that, nigga. And it's going to be what it's going to be. I think God going gonna to have my side because I ain't coming with no malicious intent. You feel me? 
So yeah. that way, when the 42 fake come, nigga, I'm like Peyton Manning, nigga. I called this one play. Damn, I get to the line, nigga. These niggas sending a blitz. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I just, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> <laughs> My niggas already know. Nigga, cause we thought it was a run, but no, nah, these niggas finna send everybody. Yeah. yeah we yeah. finna just throw a little pass. Whoop. This yeah. nigga wide open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. That's yeah. seven points. Yeah. Check the scoreboard. So what you doing, you drawing a line in the sand. I'm on this side. I'm on I'm 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 I'm, I'm kinda I'm like fight. forced to, but I always been like well, this. You fighting for the good. So so when you get on the positive side, the world ain't gonna agree with you. No, so it's the a negativity gonna road. come. It's gonna come. So get ready for it. So now the world gonna judge you on you. They gonna judge you on cowboy. They 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 got their issues with cowboy. That's cool. You they gonna judge you on you, your past. They gonna judge you on everything. They gonna judge you on your message. Right. So stick with your positive message, no matter what nobody say. Of course. That's why me. Why I stand so strong and I walk around how I do. I'm not cocky. I'm not the I'm not the biggest nigga on earth. I'm not the hardest nigga on earth. But I know I stand on the right. I know I stand on right. And niggas that standing on wrong, they not gonna agree with it. Right, of course, all and time. And, and, and I, I you, are, you already a target because of that. And I don't got a problem with that. You feel me? I'm trying to say the ones, I don't want to send niggas to prison. Like, I had little homies looked up to my gang banging. And when I came home from prison, I'm like, dang, you know what? There was some hoovers on the yard that was so cool. There was some bloods over there that was cool. Right. But prior to going to prison, I didn't know that. Right. So when I came home, why would I come tell the youngsters, oh, they not cool. Go get them, go get them. No, nah, I let them niggas know. Nah, we we together. You know what I mean. So if you introduce two dogs the wrong way, they always gonna be enemies. Right. So we gotta learn how to introduce each other. Like right. when I, if I saw see you in traffic, man, where you from? And say, hey, how you doing, black man? You know what I mean? Where you live at? You know, it's like where you from? That's how we introduce ourselves. Right. Like you, that's the 40, how we was the 40, That we that that's we we, twin we, brothers. We, 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 we was the hardest road dog. We was tight as a motherfucker. What got us into each other with each other is because a nigga come through and say sixties, say forties, sixties, forties, sixties, forties, and all of a sudden in a lineup session. On you know what I'm saying? It's like instead of the sixties, forties, all right, 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 right. right, right, right. Like sixties, forties, nigga, sixties, forties, sixties, forties. So now you say that do you think that because we helped kind of like usher that shit you feel me like how niggas be having like fake extras and all that old shit because really all this shit these niggas be having fake extras just that's just keeping it clean yeah you feel yeah, me yeah. anything else like bro we on the internet like you know what i'm saying like me myself i can't speak for everybody i ain't nigga i'm not on here talking about nigga no i can yeah, yeah. nigga I, come on bro yeah. And niggas just know me, they gonna be calling me like, boom, what the fuck? What's, what's going on? What happened? Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. But I'm not I'm not that type of nigga to be doing that. So niggas that really be doing that shit on this motherfucker, man. Yeah. yeah. I don't know, bro. Maybe they will crash out. Yeah, Ain't yeah. no telling. But well, you know what I'm saying? Well, like I was saying, not to, not to cut y'all Paul. Yeah. Well, you come from the generation I'm in. Number one, all these people they out here politicking on the internet. Right. And they really don't have no history in their hoods. Okay, so they politicking. But at the same token, they don't know how to politic. Right. Selective politic. Right. You know well, what we, I mean? We you know, know that's what. You know that's nigga, what's that's, going on. You know that's what's going on. I mean, that's been going on since beginning the time. It's just at yeah. an all time yeah. high right now. So so now everybody that's politicking, okay, you politicking. You talking about push paperwork, this and that. Boom. Okay, so let's politic now. Right. Now that you ask for it, let's politic. Right. right. Every nigga that's from a hood that's on a platform that's talking about any gang activity, if he's not talking about uh 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 um uh, at least trying uh, to change the narrative uh, uh yeah intervention if you live here, so that, that, that's what i said so, first so, let's so just if you stop online, chipping if you shit. online Things talking about, yeah, i'm saying if you online talking anything that got to do with the gang culture it should be something about change now if you're talking about any hood politics online about anything you're in violation off top that's straight telling that's off straight top. ratting that's straight off snitching top. that's straight everything that you pushing if you are a gangbanger like you say, and you are online saying, look, this guy did this, you're supposed to just call to the hood or call right. that hood. Right. I, don't, I don't give a fuck what hood you from. Right. If, you, if you're in violation, I can call your hood. I don't I care will. where you from. Right. You could be from Farm Dog, Compton. Facts. And I'm, hey, hey, you know, bro, bro, where he at? Or, the, the last resort for a real gangbanger is to go online with it. Right. You're in violation right. unless you're talking about intervention. Don't gangbang. Get your life together. If you're talking about but positive you know, that's stuff. The, that's the narrative, like, uh, for this for this new generation, stuff. exactly. So they See, big popping. What they don't understand is that you could die for that, bro. That's not nothing that you should just be, you know, like nigga, like that's a song or something, nigga. You could die from that. You feel mm -hmm. me? Yeah. And that's 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 the part that 
that ain't been happening. Yeah. Because it's been more talking yeah. than more chalking. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. And, you know what and like I said, they, they had never witnessed that generation. So they talk about it and they acting like they lived it. But no, you, you guys were little children when that was going on. Right. Oh, yeah, in the 90s. No, in the 90s, you was riding a tricycle. Right. You feel me? So the, the, the 70s babies, niggas that was born in the 70s, yeah, I always they say, ran the I'm 90s. I 70s baby, mm. 80s kid, exactly. 90s teenager, 90s, millennium yeah, yeah. man. And exactly. as we get into that part about it, you know, as you see, it's a, it's a lot, lot, lot to, to get into and everything like that, you know, but uh, for the people who's watching for the first time, you know, S-Bone, um, I want to get into your background a little bit so yes, the people sir, can yes, learn, sir. you yes, know, sir. you a little bit of, and everything like that. So um, let the people know where you're from and, um, um, you know, your childhood, you know, growing up and everything like that. Yeah, shit. I'm from South Central LA. Born and raised. You feel me? My family, uh, you know, was on like 109th and Vermont, between Vermont and um, Normandy and shit. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's like, that's the Hoovers. <laughs> you know, my family, like first generation Hoovers. Facts. Still alive right now. You feel me? Wow. But, you know, moms used to move me everywhere and shit because she never wanted me to be like, you feel me, running the streets and all that, even though I was like around that shit. My family, pops, everybody, cousins, all this old type shit. You feel me? So eventually, you know how that go. By the time I made it to the hood, I was already going to jail, fucking and all that, but I had moved all over LA. I was kind of like already, you know, just like every other black young nigga. Pops ain't raising niggas, you feel me? I'm, you feel me, same shit, like every, my, every everybody's story is like the same. Yeah, your streets. Like it's that. just how you climb up about that motherfucker. You yeah, feel yeah, me? Yeah. Because everybody ain't gonna make it. And then it's like I hate to say it. It's like success is whatever somebody else deem you uh, successful. Like you might feel like you successful or you not, but somebody might look at you like, oh, this nigga, this nigga popping or whatever. Ooh, ooh. Uh -huh. That's a target on you. You feel me? Yeah. You know that's a, that's a form of hate because niggas counting your money. Worrying about what you doing, how you doing, and doing all this shit. Like, you feel me? Like, like this shit is crazy. Like, this shit is at an all-time high. And if it was, like, really up to me, like, you feel me? Like, I'm a throwback, bro. Like, nigga, nigga, I'm a nigga that, you know what I'm saying? I got I got shot trying to beat a nigga up. Nigga, that's all mm -hmm. I know how to do is beat a nigga up. Oh, yeah. You feel me? I air your shit, too. But, nigga, you feel me? I'm from a generation where we will squabble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And nowadays, this new generation, you feel me, they are even probably some older niggas, you feel me? Yeah. You feel me? I can't even be mad at these niggas. These niggas like, nigga, I ain't squabbling with niggas. I'm like, I just still can't. I can't rock like that. So, you feel me? Hopefully, I get to, you know, get my fair on the shit with whoever it is, you feel me? But I always be online. I don't give a damn where I'm at. Whoever know me, <laughs> yeah, I always been like this. I swear to God, like, this ain't nothing new. You yeah, feel me? Yeah, yeah. I'm cool. I ain't tripping. But it's just, we been bamboozled. We all been bamboozled, nigga. That's yeah, just right. keeping it clean. Everybody, I don't give a fuck where you from, we been bamboozled. Because right now, as I'm always going to be, like, positive. I always been like that. The little homies, them niggas know. You feel me? And I still like, you feel me? If a nigga come and disrespect the hood, like, I, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to be on this nigga. And I ain't even... I ain't even on that shit, you feel me? But that shit is just, you feel me? It's like, I don't know, I can't you. explain that. It's yeah, in you, though. Yeah, it's it's yeah, in I you. I can't like, explain it. The that. love that we got. I ain't said tripping. <clears throat> yeah. The but love we got me? for the hood, we don't, we don't take no disrespect. You know, like, like you come from the generation, we respect motherfuckers. You're going you gonna to get your respect. And you got to earn respect. Our generation, you couldn't just walk down the block and nobody ask you where you from. You hit, the, you hit the block every day. You Same know, niggas ask you every day, man. man. Who is Can you? Where you from? Where you from? So it's a new generation where they can change. So I'm tired of these these dudes that ain't been around coming around and, and trying to politic. You feel me? Because the ones like us that's still out there, we the ones at these funerals. We the ones picking up these bodies. We the ones that actually feeling it. You feel me? So uh, a nigga can go online and do some posting, but the streets is feeling it. You know, we the ones out here in the streets really moving. You know what I mean? So it's a difference when you're in the streets and it's a difference when you're just a, a cyber crip. Yeah, where you just, yeah. you know, every day you scrolling, looking for something to talk about. You feel me? I don't go on the internet scrolling, looking for something to talk about, looking for a, a content creator. You know what I mean? Right, we are the right. content. You know, we out here living. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So we're about change, though. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So when you're about change, look at all the look at all the greats that was about change. They got taken out by, because we surrounded by so many, yeah, we mm -hmm. our own kind. Yeah, yeah, and look, yeah. I'm looking at me going through the social media. All, what's, what, what, what makes Cowboy want to, you want to talk about me? I was a net friend, but I'm popping, so they got they want to talk. Yeah. They 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 judge you because you got a blue check. Mm -hmm. You feel me? You meet a female, hey, follow me. She's oh, he got a blue check. 
you know, they, they judge you on your status, how many followers you got now. We, we didn't get judged on followers and shit back in the day. You had to show up and show out. Yeah, yeah. That's the only way niggas yeah, knew yeah. who you Simple was. Back. So the internet, they could talk media, about it. A lot of people, yeah, yeah. people wouldn't even know a lot of these dudes. If yeah, it wasn't yeah. no social media, yeah. Yeah. niggas and, wouldn't even know who these niggas is. Yeah. These niggas wasn't in the streets. Yeah, yeah. yeah this yeah. shit was crazy. Low key, we made it safe for a lot of niggas to really walk around and go to the store uh, on the real. Uh, even though in certain pockets of LA, it's still like all the way live. It's all the way live, nigga, from the 30s to the 100s. Facts. East to west. You feel me? But. Yeah, and yeah. so I, and I know Cowboy always talk about you know um, you know growing up he got involved kind of going towards it you know he didn't have to get involved but he got involved because he went towards you know uh, the gang culture and everything like that um, but h- how did you was, get involved as Bone you know growing I was, up I was uh, following my cousin you feel me you know what I'm saying my older cousins you know them niggas is, them niggas neighborhoods them niggas from 90s and shit you feel me I actually went up to Jesse you want to get put on. And them niggas didn't want to put me on because of who my cousin is and all that. But I lived in the hood. So, like, I knew, like, whoever was, like, my age, I knew all them niggas. Like, that was from, like, 90s, the hood, you know, DCs, DOMs. Like, anybody that was my age, I knew all you niggas because I'm hood, nigga, because I really was out there, nigga. Yeah. Promise you, like, and I really don't be trying to, like, yeah. be like that. And there I'm wasn't no to be... internet, though. Like I said, back in the day, nah. when we was coming up, you was nah, ringing bells. Nah. Like, they know, oh, that, 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 that's, uh, man. We'll do what we got the luxury sport. Or we know, oh, that's a nigga off the east side. That's man, a nigga, niggas know that nigga from Inglewood, that nigga from Inglewood family. He got that motherfucking red whoop de wow. He be right. coming through here, you know right. what I mean? So you, you will know who cracking, like, you know what I mean? We know all that nigga taco. So, like, when you, when you gang banging, either you a bell ringer, like, it's like, it's like the Lakers. You got, you got the LeBrons and the Kobe's. But what about the rest of the cats? Yeah, yeah. You don't know nothing about it. So you got a lot of these cats that they was riding the bench. And you got the stars. You got the niggas that's really out here. So luckily, the ones that was really active and like we see that we was bamboozled. If we feel that we we signed up for something. Now look at it. Nah, this ain't it. This ain't it. No, Lordy, uh, you ain't a real one unless you kill one. Homies killing homies. We didn't sign up for that. We, we, we were friends. We was friends. Cool. It's a difference when you were friends. So now here come Gang Injunction. Bam. So me and him, he around the corner from me. I can't walk to the store with him no more. Mm. So now when I see him, oh man, that nigga's a buck. They didn't fuck with the gang of Justin, though, because they already knew me. But they separated the hood, though, so they made it where we couldn't kick it. Right. So now you around the corner, and I'm looking at, man, who's that buster-ass nigga around the corner? And you looking at me like, man, who's that buck? Because we never had a chance to meet. Mm. See, back before the injunctions and all that shit, every every weekend we squabbling up. We got to know each other through these fades. Mm. So every nigga I faded with through the hood, every homie I faded with, we the best of friends to this day. Mm. Mm. You know what I mean? I can 10, 15 different homies that I done squabble. You know mm. what I mean? Mm. That we might have had a problem or whatever it may be. Or when I got put on, squabble three, four niggas. And we gave head ups. We a squabble. And bam, you fall down, nigga, put your head up. While, while you was squabbing, it'd be a homie on the sideline. Like, man, put your head up, trying to trying to coach you. Right, right, right. Because right. they had love for you, like a little homie, and get you right. Now you getting put on, and here come a nigga on the blind side. Bam, he gonna blindside you. So yeah, now that, two or three niggas is packing you out. Yeah, so yeah. now they packing you out, they skull dragging you, they dogging you out like you an enemy. Uh, uh, so now you from the hood today. Now you got three niggas you don't like already. Because they mangled you. They wasn't an initiation like you about to be a part of something. They, they, dog, they dog walked you. Yeah. Yeah, you feel me? Instead of giving you the fair one, you might have all the heart. You can't fight three niggas, but get that fair one. But I done seen some niggas that they didn't know, and they came, and the nigga that they they took off on was with the business. So that's what that's what brought the packing in. Yeah, that shows the cowardness. You feel me? Once I start seeing coward actions, I can't fall. I'm not going for that. You feel me? I signed up to play football. Y'all was starting to cheerlead. Now it's the cheerleading squad. I signed up for football. Mid season, y'all start cheerleading. So you can't switch the, you can't switch it up, yeah. but you cheerleading and you poli- you pushing politics, but you over here cheerleading. You're not gonna do nothing, man. Yeah, yeah. Cause like me, every issue I had, I said I'm not right or I'm not wrong. I'm saying I stand on what I stand on. What's the consequence? I'm ready. Yeah, yeah. And everybody got something to say. Let me dig up his past. Let me do everything other than. Back in the day, we're gonna pull up, man. We got some foul shit on you. Let's take the fade. Duh, 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 duh. And this is your punishment. Yeah, yeah. We don't like you no more. You this now. You can't be in the hood no more. Okay, easy call. Everything right, duh, for duh, duh, public duh. consumption to, now. Now, so if you're gonna run to the internet for a person, that's like me and, 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 and you and your wife get into it and you run to the internet. What's that about? You know what I mean? You, I mean, you're trying to exp- show, you know, you're trying to. So these motherfuckers is just 
looking for clout. Yeah, it's basically, basic, it's basically it's all, clout. Everything is about clout. It ain't even money. Yeah, yeah it's clout. Yeah. You no, know, it's basically clout. It, yeah. it had, we used to call it like juice or pull back in the day, I guess. Yeah, yeah. If that's equivalent to clout, I don't know. Yeah. A lot of people yeah. out there may not understand or know like in LA how close like the blocks are. You know what I'm saying? Like S Bone, you said you from forties, you know, cowboy from sixties. Uh coming up, um, being from the forties and sixties, I know once you, you said S Bone that um, you know, the sixties was like the twin brothers. Yeah. You know, and everything like that. Can you kinda explain the relationship between the different sets, you know, and um what are the things that also brought y'all together, you know, at one point I mean, in time shit, to make you feel like that? You know, the homies I can't really I can't really speak on that. Like you feel me? I'm I ain't that old. You feel me? But you know, I know we allies and shit and running mates. You know what I'm saying? And we used to function. We had a man. few little uh, we had a few little bumps in the road. Man, we you know function. What I'm we, but we, we function. We had football games. We used to get football games at Audubon. We played the forties. I seen old videotapes, nigga. The forties was dogging us. We was friends. You know what I mean? We we, we was actually we was homies that went to homies. New generations came through, beefs came through, and you still got motherfuckers that still love. You still got that love. That's yeah, why homies, she, that's why she homies gets and squashed. certain people still deal with uh certain niggas and shit, but it ain't like how like how it used to be, like you yeah. know what I'm saying? It was kinda like like I said, twin brothers. Yeah. You feel me? Because yeah, yeah. we basically like I ain't saying like, like that, we from, the LA to the or from the like Harlem's to the hundreds, you know basically saying? from the Harlem's to the hundreds. But but you know what I'm saying, like you know what I'm saying, that little issue right there, kind of sick coming through the party or whatever. You know what I'm saying, through yeah. the function, niggas already know. Like niggas don't want no issues with them dudes. Like yeah. everybody got their own little whatever. But I don't know, it's just something about you know what I'm saying. We used to just be like you know what I'm saying. We like Megatron or something. You feel me? Yeah. But that's all part of the destruction, though. You feel me? Yeah. Because it be fun. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But then, you know, you grow up and you grow up up out of that shit. You feel me? Yeah. You see a gang of niggas die in front of you. You yeah. get shot. Go yeah. to jail, do a lot of time. Yeah. I don't know about a lot of other niggas. A lot of niggas ain't really been through nothing, really. You know what I'm saying? They ain't really did nothing. They ain't really... These niggas ain't really been through nothing, bro. Yeah. And any nigga that really been through something, you ain't really trying to regurgitate that shit and really yeah, exactly. just, like, relive exactly. that shit exactly. instead of... You know... Or you don't want to send nobody through that. on here pumping out... Nigga could be on here popping out bullshit, like uh, what they call it, the prison stories, all that little bullshit, yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Niggas ain't got time for that shit, man. What yeah, the fuck? Yeah, yeah. Any nigga that, that's why I be saying, any nigga that been in jail, you feel me? Nigga, you know I ain't lying, cuz I'm hood. Cuz if you been in there with me, nigga, then you already know, nigga. You definitely wasn't running up where I was at. I ain't talking about prison. I'm talking about in the county and wayside, nigga, cuz you already know how I come through what it is, nigga. And I ain't talking about no game banking shit. I'm talking about. On some black shit. Yeah. And I squabble with any nigga in here that got a problem with what I just said. Anybody that been in there with me know those is facts. Yeah. You feel me? Because yeah. I always been like that as far as for my black people. Especially yeah. up in there. Because yeah. you know what I'm saying? We be up against it. Yeah. But a lot of niggas ain't really, really. you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. sometimes you can skate through the cracks and go to the system. And might not have no phase. Maybe getting a baby melee. Maybe. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Depending on where you going. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They call it a little turnaround and shit. Yeah, nigga yeah. go to reception. Nigga yeah. like. A month, two months, he got out, he think he been to the pen and all that. Yeah. Hey, kill. all right, bro, whatever. You yeah, feel me? Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I ain't judging yeah, yeah, you. But yeah, nigga, yeah, yeah, yeah. you ain't really went nowhere, yeah, bro, yeah, where it's ugly. Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, you ain't really did nothing. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? I ain't taking nothing from your ism. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. But it's like, yeah. when you when you be exposed to a lot of different shit and go through a lot of different shit, it's like, damn, you like, damn, cuz. Like, you feel me? Like, nigga, you, I was just talking about this yesterday, nigga, like, nigga, you always, nigga, like, Nigga, you always, you always, you feel me? You always, you always online. Yeah. When you yeah. up, you you always online, nigga. You ain't, you feel me? You chilling, yeah. but you always online. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Who want to live like that, bro? Yeah, Until yeah. you get back to your cell, nigga. That's why you want your cool celly or whatever. Woo. You hear the little thing locked, clunk. All right, it's a wrap. They got it locked up. Now yeah, yeah, come out right. the business. Well, it's good, you feel man. me? We good. Uh -huh. Nigga don't want to live like that, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah, yeah. that. You yeah. niggas out here playing because you niggas don't want to live like that for sure because if you was, Y'all be spinning blocks doing make y'all be making it hot. Yeah, yeah. And I I wouldn't do nothing, just tip my hat like, all right, shit. Yeah. Them niggas meant what they said. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Long as you don't come over here on, on where I'm at. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Cause I definitely mean what I say, nigga, at all times, nigga. Yeah. You feel me? I'm a grown ass man. You feel me? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That niggas don't realize, nigga. Y'all make y'all bed, y'all gotta lie in it, bro. That boy. That I don't give a damn who you that is, boy. bro. That boy. You can't just be out here just whatever. I call it rubber naked and all that. Just always worrying about what another nigga talking about and all this old shit. And yeah. Like, be a man, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Speak your mind. That boy. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Know your facts. Know what you're talking about. 
You know what I'm saying? Because everybody is not whatever you, whatever, however you is, clearly. Because you out here playing. Yeah, yeah. You out here shaking and faking. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we out here, I know, I, I know as far as me, I just try to make people, you know what I'm saying, just stay, just stay positive, bro. Because you, yeah. you're going to be going through whatever you're going to be going through and people going to be trying to just make you just crash out, get irritated or whatever. So that's why I be saying protect your energy. I, I should tell myself that that's how I came up with that. You feel me? And that shit, for me, I can't speak for everybody. Because everybody can be on some bullshit, but I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm, I ain't tripping. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I know, like, I'm in a good, I'm in a good space mentally. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. yeah. Now, if it be like ah, I'd be like, oh shit. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. Some I, of, you feel me? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Some motherfuckers ain't at peace with themselves. You feel me? You, you got peace you with have yourself. To. You ain't at peace with yourself. How you gonna be peace with the next man? Man, it's the times you, right now. It's 2023. If you ain't got peace in your hood, how you gonna be cool with the '60s? We ain't even cool right here. I ain't even cool with the nigga around the corner. So now right. us as black people. Mm. So now let's take these colors we out. We don't the, love each other. Let's take the colors out of the equation. Let's take these block numbers out of the equations. Cause there ain't nobody really owning nothing they, on their blocks. Mm-hmm. Okay. Facts, facts. Cause I know when Nip and them, we got that shopping center, we was really the first generation of niggas buying shit in their hood. We had a couple of other homies, older homies that might've been balling and bought a few shops, but we first generation of real entrepreneurs making a change. Yeah. You feel me? So now, it take OGs, like a lot of OGs in the 90s got locked up, they got life, they call me every day. So now a lot of this generation raised they self. You feel me? So they came up with these new it's set of rules. Cycle. So it take big homies like bro to step I up. I ain't no big homie, take, I'm, yeah. I'm a but young you, nigga. Yeah, you're a young nigga, but you're a big homie. You're a big, but you're a big, <laughs> you, a but you're a big homie to you these young niggas. You young niggas, you niggas talking about old yeah. niggas. I'm like, yeah. nigga, I dog walk your young ass. Yeah. Nigga but you're a, big homie, you're a big homie that your influence matters. So if they see the big homie out there getting drunk every day, like, okay, that's what they gonna see. If they see the big homie out there going to work every day, that's what they gonna see. If but you see- know what's crazy? This ain't just like, oh, my mama, this ain't just like this YouTube, bro. I always been like this. Exactly. In the yeah, hood, like- in jail, I always been like this. Yeah. I never be like, oh, you know, some bullshit. Never, exactly. you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. nigga, my little homies, nigga, on my mama, nigga, them niggas, whatever they do, they do, nigga. Nigga, them niggas, nigga, nigga, they know that do that across the street. Yeah. Like, nigga, you see this nigga bone right here, cuz, nigga, I don't fuck with none of that. Nigga, do your yeah, shit over exactly. there, nigga. Yeah, that's the same thing I say. You, you stay in your lane. I'm in my lane. I'm doing what I do. Exactly. I'm, not, I'm not knocking what you do. Do it. But you're going to do it over there. You're not going to yeah. do it over here because my right. camp and what we talking about that, and what bro. we on. And I'm going to tell you, every time you see me, I'm going to tell you, bro, it's, it's funner on the other side. Mm. Come on this side. Mm. It's mm. funner on this side. Powerful. On the legit side, I yeah. tell you, man, I see, man, I've been through drugs. I've been through gang, I've been through prison. I've been through everything. So when I see niggas going through that, I let them know, look, it's funner over here. Mm-hmm. It's funner without the drugs you know, in your life. niggas gonna hang in the hood and shit. That's all niggas yeah, wanna yeah. do is hang in the hood. Yeah, and it's yeah, like, yeah. well, get off the niggas block. Used to be if you, like if, that too. My thing was, if, if I'm hanging on the block, I should be making some bread. Mm-hmm. I'm not just hanging out in front of, because we would hang out in front of an apartment building. We'd be 30 deep out there. Everything, everybody loaded up. Yeah. Nobody live in this building. Police roll, enemy roll, whoever roll, we ain't got nowhere to go but duck and run, you feel me? So we were holding down, and let a nigga come over and say something about that block, but we, we don't live here though, but we every morning we out there here drinking our beers and that's where we hung out at, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? So when you own something, then it's worth dying. We, we were staying on blocks that we just held them blocks down. We held yeah. them down for years. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we held yeah. them down uh-huh. and we didn't own nothing around there though. Yeah. We didn't have nowhere nigga to run. That nigga love yeah, that yeah, shit yeah, more yeah. than he love his own family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you know Holidays what? and all that old shit, if a nigga wasn't in jail, Nigga in the hood, nigga. That's nigga. That's the holidays, nigga. Yeah, like yeah. all, all that old shit. Thanksgiving, whatever. All them little bullshits. Yeah, yeah. Nah, real and talk. And nigga be real like, talk. damn, cause nigga used to be like a nigga really wasted his life though. Yeah, uh, on yeah. some real shit. Yeah, and you feel uh, me, it, it, nigga? Yeah. Niggas already, nigga, niggas already know who I am, nigga. I ain't never. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It is what it is. Yeah, you feel yeah, me? Yeah. yeah. But I wanted it to be like that. You know, I was a young nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like I was saying, I was following my cousin and shit. Yeah. And them niggas didn't put me on. So I'm like, fuck it, I live in the hood anyway. Yeah. Cause I already live right there on King of Vermont, right yeah. there in the hood, so. Yeah. Fuck and, it. And but I used to live in West LA too. Yeah, you okay. feel me? So I knew them niggas too. Them niggas was like, them niggas was like, them niggas kinda like enemies and shit, you feel yeah, me? Yeah. Quote unquote. Got gotcha, you, got gotcha. you. You feel me? You know, you know, y'all both talked about going through a lot, you know, in, in, in the hood and, you know, some of y'all past history and, and everything like that. I know I've uh, heard as bone um, and I think that it's important that the the young men and people kind of like, you know, hear this to know that, hey, it's not a game out here. Um, but um, I heard that um, you kind of 
was uh was shot twice in two separate occasions. Um, yeah, can you kind of talk about that situation yeah. and when everything younger, that happened? When I was younger, like probably like 16, I got shot right there in the hood. You feel me? Uh, McDonald's, uh, the, the little like drive through and shit. You feel me? Little bitch pulled up or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Picked up one of my homies. You know what I'm saying? It, that's why I wasn't even supposed to be right there. You feel me? Oh, God, that's how I know this shit. Like, God, for real. Facts. Because I wasn't even supposed to even be right there. But anyway, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Shit, I'm in the drive through and shit. Like, you feel me? In the back seat. And I'm like, damn, cuz, like, like, I know this nigga right here. You feel me? Oh. Next thing I know, I see somebody up on me with the issue. I'm like, eh, you feel me? He do his Dougie. You know what I'm saying? Smash off. You know what I'm saying? Go back to the hood, cause we right there in the hood and shit. Homies just run and shit. You know, they thinking I'm in the McDonald's, like in the drive through stressed out, but I'm in the back seat of the car and shit. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? Yeah. That was like the first time. Then the second time when I got shot was by a nigga I grew up with. You mm. feel me? He ain't from the hood, but he a nigga I grew up with, ran the streets with, fuck bitches with, and all that. You feel me? And nigga, I called that nigga out for a fade. And that nigga aired me out, you feel me? But he, he really wasn't trying to kill me. That's how I feel, you feel me? Everybody, everybody like, nigga, that nigga, was, that nigga was shooting me. I was like, nah, because he just kind of like walked me down and shit. He didn't really like run after me and shit, you feel me? Like, if he, if he was me, nigga, you done already committed. You might as well, you know what I'm saying? He, but he did, he did hit me up, you feel me? But yeah, I just felt like shit, just like the first nigga. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't really trying to hit me up neither because he only cracked one time. Mm, mm. So I only got hit one time, you feel me? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. So thank God them niggas, not whoever they thought they were, they, and God was with me, you feel yeah, me? Yeah, so yeah. events you know like saying? that, you know, I done had events where, where, you know, like I said, I done jumped out of buildings that you got purpose, you know what I mean? When you when you survive shit like that, you come home from prison and you see people that yeah, didn't I know, make it. I know God, I, I definitely, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna even lie, like probably like two weeks ago, out the blue, I just was like, damn. God, son, God, like, he got it's something going on, you feel me? I don't know what's yeah, going on, like yeah. this little bullshit thing. I ain't no motherfucking content creator, bro. Nigga, yeah. I ain't on there with the decorations and nah. reacting to shit and all that. This shit is real life out here, you mm. know what I'm saying? Some Sir, people, you got I'm not a powerful mad at, story. But look, I'm yeah. not mad at people for trying to do whatever they doing on YouTube and all that old shit. I'm mad at, you know, the homies, I say, you mm. feel me? Because right now, we the content on this motherfucker, you feel me? You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. The Nate Bull Crips for you know what I'm saying for the for the slow people. So that's really that's really that's really the only thing I probably got a problem with. It, otherwise, motherfuckers could do whatever they want to do. I don't care who they is. I prefer nobody to be doing that. Yeah. But yeah. definitely, you know what I'm saying, the homies as far as on some LA shit, you feel me? That's just you know, that's why I even started my page. Yeah. For LA. Yeah, you yeah, feel yeah. me? But yeah. I brought everybody in, you know what I'm saying? I'm the only nigga that's on here that shout out everybody. The Hoovers and everybody else, Trays and everybody, Bloods. I'm the only nigga that, that's on, on the internet that do that. I don't expect everybody else in other states to really understand what that is, yeah. but people in LA, they know what that means, you feel me? Because certain yeah. niggas, you know, homies don't like that shit, certain niggas don't like that shit, because yeah. I'm hood, like, yeah, yeah. you feel me? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, them yeah. niggas are damn near, nigga look at me like I'm a S word, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? S-N-O-O-V-A, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Wow, you, you know, know what I'm saying? but yeah. and, and it's crazy. Like you, you, you would want to harm me for me saying stop chipping each other. Uh -huh. You want to harm me for that? Uh -huh. For me saying like, bro, like, come on, cause like y'all niggas, you know what I'm saying? I just, I just said that on my live. Like, nigga, you niggas, niggas in LA, you niggas just, you niggas have a ceasefire. You niggas running around and having water fights and all that from the east side to the west side. Let's keep that same type of energy, nigga. Nobody, not, not necessarily. The water fight issue, but that energy, like, bro, like, nigga, this summertime. Yeah. Let's enjoy summer, LA, in 2023, this year. Yeah. Let's see how that go. Yeah, yeah. It's like, what, July right now, all yeah. the way to, like, uh, December, bro. Mm -hmm. If you niggas, quote, unquote, run you run your hood, wherever you niggas from, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Because any nigga that's, that's saying anything else, then you know who you dealing with. Mm. Like, come on, bro. Yeah. You yeah. don't got to, nigga, don't turn a nigga on with a good time. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's go do it. Yeah. Now it's a whole nother story. You got you got to go get your daughter. You got to yeah. go to work. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but you got to go to work. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. You know. You know. Y'all. Y'all yeah. both being. You know. Um. You know. OGs and everything like that. And um. And, and you know. Uh. Having powerful voices. You know. Uh. Uh. What What would y'all say to some of the young cats out there though? 
who want to be a, a you know a part of a gang and, and want to rep and everything like that and look at y'all and say well how are y'all telling us about changing when y'all put in work y'all got names people are respecting and looking at y'all and and, and and trying to follow you know in y'all footsteps how are y'all gonna tell us not to move like that you know uh when y'all already been there and done that you know, you know what, what this I'm is saying? it's just like that old sense you know if you if you're doing the same thing you was when you was 20 and you like 30 or 40 Nigga, you definitely lost on oh, God. I don't give a damn who you is. Yeah. You can't be a nigga that's 40 years old acting like you 20. You feel me? You a whole ass grandfather out here basically yeah. running with niggas that can be your kids and your grandkids. Yeah. If you if you around and you older like that, you feel me? You're supposed to be trying to change the narrative because you already like wherever you at in your life. And that's the problem. See, it's supposed to be a pecking order. That's why this shit is chipped away. You feel me? It ain't just niggas say, oh, young niggas or this generation or cuz generation or whatever. No, that shit is at the top, bro. Cause soon as niggas be like, oh, all right, nigga, we about to, now we, we, we now they tripping. Oh, now y'all want to say something. Now, now it's, now it's a, uh, whatever you want to call it, G call this or whatever, whatever. Nah, bro. That shit got to be down the line, bro. You feel me? You don't bend the shit, nigga, to meet your needs, nigga. And that's where the problem's at. Because a lot of this shit is really internal and throwback old shit. You feel me? Because a lot of these niggas was really nobodies. You know what I'm saying? The niggas and now these niggas probably got a little jobs, save their little money. You know what I'm saying? Now they got a car and shit. They look, they, you know what I'm saying? Because dusty niggas back in the days, they low key fresh now. <laughs> <laughs> they low key fresh now. Niggas that was dusty low key back in the day, they low key on right Stuck now. You feel me? So shout out to the throwback dusty niggas, man. You niggas <laughs> doing y'all thing, bro. <laughs> you know hey, but what I'm I, think, I think the reason we can tell the youngsters not to do what we did is because we, we went through it. So we don't want them to go through it. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? That's why we tell them that. Don't look up to that. You know, it looked at fly when we was doing it, but nah, it ain't cool. We letting you know this is what's gonna happen. You're gonna be in that cell for a long time. Mm -hmm. You're gonna, gonna be live doing it your whole life or, until you or, walk or, up off this earth. Yeah, or or up under this new code and all this new bullshit, you're gonna live and you're gonna rep this hood to the fullest, you're gonna take phase, you're gonna do all that shit, then the same hood gonna kill you. <sighs> so you're gonna rep it to the fullest, but one of your own gonna get you. One of them somebody close to you. So, so, so yeah. me, I felt like I would rather anybody give me other than some than somebody over here that I repped, you know, anybody other than here. Come on. That means everything I ever did for over here was in vain. Every oh, fade, God. every whatever, everything That's like I stepped for. You in jail for chipping your own homie. Yeah, that is, yeah, yeah, yeah. You in yeah. there with all the enemies and you in here for chipping your own homie, man. That's a bad pill to swallow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Same shit you got tatted on you and you in there behind, you know what I'm saying? This nigga, you know what I'm saying? Come on, bro. Yeah. And you in here back to back with enemies and everybody. That's why I be like, if niggas together in there, you niggas could be together out here, bro. Yeah. Or let's not be together in there, nigga. You feel me? Yeah, fuck yeah. it. Yeah, well, I'll fake it. Yeah, Don't, yeah, that, that's, yeah. that's, that's why I be saying, nigga, fuck all, nigga, fuck it. Let's just crash out, bro. Yeah. Nigga, mm. fuck all that other shit. Bro. Yeah, they, they, yeah, they, they really gonna they, get they, you they, out the they way. They popping <laughs> it, but they ain't trying to crash and burn. They popping it, but they not pulling up. Popping it, you know, yeah, they, they gonna get you out internet. the way, nigga. They gonna oh, drop yeah. an issue oh, yeah. on you. They gonna drop a kite on your <laughs> yeah, dog yeah. ass, nigga. You out of here. Out the, the fuck? Yeah, you sure. out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts. Yeah. Yeah. And and that's what I think about some of these cats that's around here and the way they be popping on the net. I'm like, cause they'll get popping and they get you to say some shit and all of a sudden you go under. You feel me? They set ups to get niggas to get to popping. They want me to threaten a nigga. They want me to. Because it's they always, set up for the game. It's always a chess move. Yeah, yeah, you feel me? yeah. Exactly. It's man. Always a chess it, move. It's major chess going on right now. And, <laughs> yeah. I, and, and I, man, definitely. But the, the thing is, I ain't even pushing but, the pieces. That's but, the cold part. But, I'm but, like this. The one thing Ooh, is, piece. not that one, nigga. This one. <laughs> the one thing is, everyone they trying to press these moves on. One thing we got in common is God, though. That's the mm -hmm. one thing we got in Facts. common. All the yeah, ones I was that got say, the issues. They don't got no God. All the, yeah, I'm saying all the ones that got the issues. Like I all, said, I'm coming the, strap. I'm saying all the With guys. With a Bible and a gun, nigga. I'm meeting hell face all, to face, nigga. All our leaders. Straight like that. All our leaders, all the ones that got taken out, every leader, everybody that stood for something had one thing in common. They had somebody that had their back. They mm -hmm. had somebody. And when, they, and when they was gone, 
look how many people's lives changed from mm -hmm. the Martins, how many people kept fighting for freedom right. and fighting for this, for uh, right. Nipsey, look how many people opened up right. businesses. Look, uh, these, these people had purpose. These are the LeBrons, these are the Kobe's, these are the stars in the hood that matter. These niggas that's on the bench that's talking. Oh, LeBron, you missed that layup, but you on the bench, nigga, you wasn't there. So quit listening to these bench Definitely players. Definitely wasn't there. Quit listening to the bench players. So how you gonna how you gonna prison politics and you never been to prison? Yeah, yeah. How, how is Cowboy gonna talk about drugs if I never done them? I talk about drugs, I talk about jail, I talk about gang, I talk about shit I've done. Right. I can you you ask me some questions, I mean, I do not know who that is. Yeah, I can't yeah, talk yeah. about something I do not know. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So speak on what you know now. You got niggas out here and they podcast faulty politicking and they pressing they line like they really that nigga and you might got motherfuckers believing that and you got niggas like me that gotta live with the repercussions in the streets. Yeah, yeah. Right. Good thing is me that the streets love me. The streets love and they see. Now had I been hiding out and not been in the streets it'd be a different ball game. Yeah. But I made sure I stayed 10 toes on the streets every day. Yeah, yeah. Cause I ain't got nothing to hide. Yeah. I ain't got nothing to file. Right. So now Big homies got at me like, you know, I don't agree with you did going on the stand or whatever, but I know you solid. I don't agree with it. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Then get on the internet and blast it. I don't agree with it. That's cool. Yeah. That's an opinion. You don't agree with it. Cool. Feel me? I thought about it. I stood on it and I did what I did. Yeah, Simple yeah. as that. Yeah. Grown man shit. I knew what was going the repercussions or whatever it's gonna be. Yeah. And like I said, if I'm guilty. What, what, what's the consequence? Yeah. Two phase, three phase, five phase, three on one, what, whatever, whatever it is, I said, what is it? Mm -hmm. And these marks. So don't join no shit like this. Look what it is. I'm glad they showing us that this is bullshit. I'm glad the internet is showing that this shit is, it hurt real niggas like us. Cause we been in them prisons. We had to, and it, and it hurt to see some outside motherfuckers come in and just be popping it and they not really about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the ones that's really about that, like I said, he coming to the show, this is, yeah, he ain't no podcaster, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, come on. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. We, we real, real solid motherfuckers. I don't even know what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But no, you I'm got a message. Oh, definitely a message. Yeah, yeah. Look, you got yeah, a message. Sure yeah. Yeah. Positive uh, message. Had their own yeah, mind. Yeah, no, yeah. you got a positive message to see, they want, they want to take cowboy voice. They want to take your voice. You keep doing what you do. It's motherfuckers that got 11 million followers. 11 million, they go up, but they talking about nothing. Right, yeah. You might have 10, 15,000, but they listening to what you talking about, and, yes, they, and, they, and they every morning they tapping in with you. That's yes, who count. Sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not the 11 million fake ones. It's the 1,500 real ones that count. Right, yeah, yeah. Feel me, I got 50 some, I got 50 some, uh, thousand followers or something, but it's only 5,000 of them niggas that's real. Uh -huh. That's real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tap in, cowboy, we fuck with you, that's real. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna comment, not a blue check nigga just looking and ain't yeah, gonna say they're too scared in, to I'll say something. I be in and out with this yeah, shit, cause yeah, this yeah. shit is kinda like. Keep your message alive, yeah, no matter yeah, what. Yeah. Get in the morning, your daily affirmation, put it on TikTok or whatever you wanna do, go down your line and that's that. Your daily positive, da 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 da, y'all keep your head up, woo woo woo. Yeah. Whatever God put on your heart, post yeah. it and go from there. Yes, and, and I think Definitely. transparency, exactly. you know, is, is very important. That's something that I've always respected, you know, and loved about you, you know, Cowboy, always being transparent and everything like that, you know. And, um, you know, like you said, that have been a topic and things that you heard. And you always say, look, people may not have liked it or, 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 or not, but I did it, you know, so what's up? I'm standing on what I'm standing on, right? Yeah. So, you know, when it comes down to it, being someone that's so respected, you know, uh, as well, when it comes down to, to you as Bone, um, did you ever have any thoughts about when it came down to taking a stand or, or Cowboy taking a stand or anything like that? Or, like, what what, what was your thoughts when, when that situation happened? If I'm keeping it, if I'm keeping it a stack, you know what I'm saying, as far as just, like, the code, the street code, we could never take the stand and be a DA witness, period. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't be who I am if I said anything else. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just talking about niggas that's saying they from a gang, they from the streets, they they, they follow the code or whatever. Whoop. You could never get on the stand and be a DA witness. That's basically saying you helping them put somebody in jail, you know, blase, blase. That's far as the street code. Now, as far as whatever, you know, the situation, you know what I'm saying, with cuz, to keep it clean, I really didn't follow that situation like that. Yeah. You feel me? 
You know what I'm saying? That's just keeping it a stack. That's I right. ain't watched none of that shit. You That's feel right. me? You know what I'm saying? I really don't know. You feel me? And I ain't gonna even say I don't care. Like, cause you 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 a grown ass man, bro. Exactly. Like, who am I to be like, yeah. oh, this nigga I don't understand yeah. this shit. Like, as long as you ain't yeah. long as you ain't put cuz in jail, <laughs> like you feel me, and I know like, oh, well, you be like, oh, this nigga did it right here, yeah. then that's a whole nother yeah. subject. Exactly. But so, as far as that, so I don't got no opinion yeah, on so that. So Cuz turned himself in. Cuz killed the homie file and turned himself in. So we did. yeah, you so he's out of line. All right, there. So from that point on, all best was off on my end. So we, we just leave it at that. So once once you killed the homie in cold blood, and then after Cuz never called you a snitch and you gunned him down for no reason, jealousy, envy, no reason, you gunned him down. Then you turned yourself in. So from that point on, all best was off for me. But like I said, me getting on the stand, that's a. Uh, that's a personal opinion, you know what I mean? That, right, right, right. You know, you, uh, by the streets and by whatever, that was, that's a personal opinion. I, that, I don't agree with it. I wouldn't have done it, yeah. but Cowboy did what he did. Mm -hmm. And that, and you're I, not the, and you're not, that. You're not the, you're not the reason uh, he in jail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never, I, said, you, I never say seen, that. yeah, I never seen right. Cuz yeah. shoot bro. I never right. seen him shoot bro, you know what I mean? I never could say, oh yeah, he shot, he shot Nipsey. No, right. I never could say that. I would be lying, because I never saw that. You know what I mean? So there was Even no, if you could say that, you wouldn't say that. No, no, if, exactly. no, if they was beefing, and it was a legitimate issue why he chipped Nipsey, I couldn't say nothing. Y'all beefing, you you know, even if he fucked your baby mama, and y'all had, had issues, I can't say nothing. Right. You just kill cousin cold blood and turn yourself in. Right. You didn't kill cousin just still slide through the hood right. and still then fuck you niggas and right. whatever and, and give give cowboy action. See the thing, you the did thing, a coward the, move. The, the yeah. thing with that situation is because that situation happened all the time, all over. Uh, like you feel me? That shit done happened a gang of times since Nip done passed in different people's hoods, yeah, right? Yeah. But Nip was just who he was, right? Yeah. So that shit was like all in the public yeah. eye and all that old shit for everybody to have their own little two cents. You know, screw me, exactly. dissect this. But like you said, it's been a million that. issues in the hood like that randomly. Like I said, Nip was the one that the world heard about. They ain't heard about mm -hmm. nothing else. Right. And believe me, Cowboy ain't spoke on nothing else. Right, right. I only spoke on one coward that did a coward act and turned himself in. I didn't stick with the nigga that did the cold shit. If you, I don't know if, what you I'm saying, if homies is beefing in the hood, if you beefing in the hood and y'all get into it, that's none of my business if y'all gun each other down. I, could, I cannot say nothing. Now, if this bitch ass nigga do a foul crime, then turn himself in, don't give me no action, I wanna go look a nigga in his face. That, that's what I stood on. You know what I mean? It wasn't yeah, about, been saying and, that. And, if you look, and if you look at the paperwork, man, I, everybody go get the paperwork and see everything I said. They said, uh, I was on the stand, they said, Dude, is this considered snitching? I said, yes. According to, I said, yes, according to the, the same thing you just said. I said yes to keep it a stack. <laughs> yes, mm. this will be considered. Right here, cause on it's, it's on the it's paperwork. Not do me, mm. cause. <laughs> know what I'm saying, and that's what I said. And, and, you know, and I said, right yeah, here. according to the street, this would be considered that. And yes, I am out of line. Yes, yes, I said all of that. I even I, I didn't go sneak on the stand and do some snitch shit. I went live on my shit. I'm gonna see this nigga in the face. Okay. I ain't looking at it like that, and, bro. And, you know what I'm saying? But now if you read no, the paperwork. I ain't looking at it like, like no, 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 no. Oh at no, it like no, that. I got you. I, on hood. I already know that. Don't even chip. Like I said, yeah. I, I never I, I couldn't tell on nobody. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So even on the paperwork, I even said, yeah, this is will be considered that. I kept it one hundred. I kept it a stack. I said, yeah. On the stand, I kept it a stack. So yeah, this will be considered that. It's in black and white. You know what I mean? I said that. You know what I mean? So I never denied what I done, what I did. I, I didn't deny that I went against the 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 the, the, the code. Mm -hmm. You feel me? I just said, you know, what's my consequence? Mm -hmm. That's what I asked the homies or whatever it may be. If y'all felt okay, you know what? That wasn't cool. You feel me? Nobody gave a fuck about shitty and shitty did some foul. Other than that, the homies would have lined me up. They said, "Cause line him up, mm -hmm. take them face, line him up, cause you shouldn't have did that. Line him up." Mm -hmm. You feel me? They felt cause. Turned himself in. He did a foul that he on camera gun cuz down for no reason. Cuz never called bro no snitch. It was no reason to kill a nigga in cold blood other than envy and jealousy. Right. So that's mm -hmm. all bets is off after that point. Yeah, nigga, yeah, yeah. All bets is off. You know what I mean? All bets is off at that yeah, point. If you, shit, you my did, jealous rate just went up right now. Now that I'm on this motherfucker, that shit done went up some more. Yeah, yeah but yeah, no, yeah, keep yeah. your message yeah. alive. They gonna yeah, yeah. as long I mean, as you got a positive message. My message, message. Gonna always slice through the bullshit. You, you feel me? Because I, just, I, you know, I try to be the equalizer because it ain't about being right. 
You know what I'm saying? Or wrong. It's about making making you think, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm right. saying? Because at the end of the day, we all grown. You know what I'm saying? I got a P number, not a weed number. No, I you got a P me? number. P69, nigga. P774. <laughs> Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm Basically, nigga, I'm born by myself. I'm going to die by myself, yeah. nigga, in English terms uh-huh. for people in uh, YouTube work. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? We all are. But sometimes, you know, we go through shit and we don't figure it out because we love the soil. We yeah, love, yeah. but now, you know what I'm saying, depending on how old you is, you see, like, the different pockets of different shit. And you like, damn, cut this shit crazy. Yeah. And you see how like, water This shit down real this life. Shit. This shit yeah, really yeah. happening. You, but you see how water yeah. Nigga ain't got no control. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so shit. I just really try to keep the positive shit out there because, there you, you know, yeah, people yeah. will hear that, about. bro. That's Believe it or about. not, people will hear that because that's what people need to hear. People need to hear, like, you doing good. You feel mm-hmm. me? How you doing? You yeah, know what I'm saying? Exactly. You all right, bro? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. How you doing, miss? Opening Thanks. doors for people, all that old shit. People, people need that shit. You know what I'm saying? So you need to... You know what I'm saying? Encourage people and, and tell them they doing good or whatever, mm-hmm. whatever. You know That's what I'm saying? important. People you know, especially homies. in our community, we need to do that more. We need you to know, be like important. that. You know what I'm saying? Black Definitely. people are so hardcore, they don't ought to be Man. expressive or whatever you want to call it. You yeah. feel me? Tearing you can, down. you know what I'm saying? It's all right, bro. It's 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 all right, bro. Like, mm-hmm. come on, my nigga, like, yeah. bro, you stop it. Yeah, and even yeah. when they be finna wreck they self and don't even know you still just remove yourself from that situation unless you can't yeah yeah you know what i'm yeah. saying because you know it is what it is black people we just we just got this ball of energy and just all this shit just up in us and with the young folks they getting a different a different energy put into their little brains you know what i'm saying as yeah. we was when we was young they getting a different energy you know what yeah, i'm saying because yeah. the computers yeah they, they got, got no all filter. type of shit on they ain't got no filter yeah, not we at had all. a filter not at all. we didn't right. see certain shit come now, on now now everything is common they can see this shit so little kids Man, is growing anything. up and seeing these two parents that they're the same you same know sex, and, and it's that. cool mm-hmm. you understand so uh we're living in those end times so that's why you got to realize your with your calling you got a calling god got his hand on you god got a hand on him we got purpose we yes, survived sir. too much. We got purpose. Yes, sir. You just talk about your experiences, the shit you overcame. Right. You feel me? And where we going? We talking right. about change. Right. So you got to realize we can't bite into the negativity because they're not talking about change. Yeah. We talking about change. Right. And every nigga that talked about change, look what happened to him, though. So with this fight that we fighting, it, you just know God got it's your back. It's a lonely back. road, but you like know God I said. got your back. Then if you go, I'm saying if you go, you if you go on the right path, you go. You go out like you go out like a king. You go feel the staple center like bro. When you go out on the right path, you know, that's why I say I'm Feel eating me? hell with a gun yeah. and a Bible. Exactly. I'm armored, brother. They don't realize I'm just, covered in armor. Because you got I that Bible, just because you got that Bible, you's a warrior, you's a soldier. They don't realize right. that angel come knock some right. shit down. Right. The angel come through, right. he knock it down. God said it's a time for war and it's a time for peace. <laughs> yeah. 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 Feel me? Those like, is in the Bible. You know what I'm saying? People yeah. need to get in their Bible too. Yeah. You know what oh, I'm that's saying? As black people, we we really got away from that. You know what I'm saying? Because for whatever reason, they watching shit, they hearing shit, they not believing shit and all yeah. that, but y'all better know, man, this is a higher source. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? It's it ain't spirit, whatever you're thinking and all that, y'all on. need to get yourself together. I'm saying definitely, spiritual definitely. warfare going on. See, it's, it's, it's definitely spiritual, is. It's yeah, spiritual yeah. warfare going on. See, it's spiritual warfare going on, and man, we getting into it with each other so we can kill, steal, yeah, destruction. Sure. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? So that's where the line is getting drawn. You know, I stood on some right shit. Everybody know I stood on some right shit. Regardless of whatever, they know I stood on some right <laughs> shit. The ones that don't, don't the ones that know, don't. People people love Nip. Yeah. So yeah. that's why they gonna say you, you stood on some right shit. And that's what I wanna, and, that, and that's well, what I wanna add. Like, well, it's just like, say, so walking, we like, fuck yeah, it. Yeah. What like, you say, you you walking down the street, you walking down the street and you see somebody molesting this little kid. Do you just turn your head or do you call 911 or you just go nah, kill him? Yeah, yeah, you yeah. go you kill know, him. We, we gonna deal. But I'm just saying, I'm saying, yeah, yeah. I mean, you if go over there with the jail, then we gonna, we gonna put something well, up in him. That's, that's, I'm just saying, that's what they get. You know what I mean? Like, if, right is right is wrong and wrong. You know right. what I mean? Certain, certain situations, every case is different. You know yes, what I mean? Sir. I'm not saying, like I said, I'm not saying what I necessarily did was right. I'm right. not saying it was wrong. Right. I'm saying I stood on that. Whatever the consequence, I'm with that. Right. But, it's a matter of opinion. Some right. say I did some, whatever. Right. Uh, Cuz did what he did in broad daylight. That's they the like, selective he did, shit. He you know did, yeah, exactly. He why, did what he did. Why on, nigga name got to be a, a, a topic of discussion and, and shit? Exactly where mm-hmm. the issue could have been handled on a phone call. Everything concerning Cowboy, if you was really hood, could have been concerned with a phone call. Right. I uh, tell him to meet me right here at Woody right. Whoop School. Uh, we got an issue. Right. Don't have an issue with a nigga like me. That's gonna pull up. 
right. it'd be different. You, you, okay, Cowboy right. never gonna pull up. Right. He's right. somewhere hiding right. out, right. and right. You know, we got to get on the right. internet and right. put the APB right. out for this nigga. Right. No, right. Cowboy, right. right there, been there for three years, cleaning the parking lot. Right. I cleaned up every candle down there. If you if your niggas wanted me, you was gonna do me right there with them. Right. I'm going out right there, same spot. Right. So the city. So how how do you deal with that situation? Then is it just gonna continue to be internet shit? Because like I said, me myself. I prefer for the homies not to be on the internet being content. The That's thing just is, on some the LA thing shit. is, niggas yeah. don't know what we talking about. But, but the thing is, my homies, this is crazy that we talking about this yeah. at this uh shit yeah. right here. But the thing is, <laughs> my homies, right here. my yeah. homies are not on the internet. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? My homies are not on the internet. Yeah, my homies The 600, ain't the 600 dude, my the, the dudes that's voicing shit about Cowboy, they're not, they're not official at all. Oh, you understand? So, they, they, you know what I'm saying? They're internet. Because if you was now, but when I was in, now you politic and we're going to pull you in now. <laughs> now that you made it public, you a part of this. Right. Oh, you oh. That shit for real. You talking to Mr. Politicker, nigga. I've been on them yards. Oh, God. What? So you out of line for putting anything? You, might, you put one of us, some addresses out there. You what? Yeah, that's right. And you claiming this, and that's you could just call. Not. You could call one of the big homies. Hey, big homie. Hey, hey, unk. Hey, unk. Tell, 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 cuz donut shop eight thirty in the morning. I'll be there. Right. Mm -hmm. So there's no reason to do anything unless it's a publicity stunt. Mm -hmm. And you playing with my life on a publicity stunt. If you that's got an issue with cowboy, cowboys there ten toes. Well, whatever. What's the problem? You feel me? Yeah, that's yeah. just a man. I yeah. just wish that you know, like I said, I just yeah. you know, I just but want the homies. Long as long as long as fate, yeah, that's just me. Well, you gotta niggas realize gonna do what they do, your but real homies ain't if, on the if internet. Niggas want homies, nigga. I wouldn't even give a damn, yeah. or I'd probably say some other sick shit. Yeah. Or whatever. My, my yeah. thing is, if you're on the internet and you're talking any gang shit, it should be intervention. Do right. not do not discuss. I don't give a fuck what hood you from. From from the milk seven four that's talking, nigga, you in violation. <laughs> from every nigga from the to the crack one hundred, you in violation. The the performance, they need to handle that. And then every nigga, you in violation because if you if you say you this gang banging you this and that, make the phone call. You do not get on the internet. Whack one hundred, they they doing shit that you know everything look, about content look, look, though. The shit that crack one hundred doing, if that shit is real, I will be going to jail. The shit you putting out there, I will be going to jail, nigga. Uh, Fuck is you doing? Yeah, yeah. If any of that thing got any featherweight, I will be going to jail, nigga. What the fuck wrong with you? That's police shit. Uh, so don't act like you politicking. If you want to politic, you will get politicked. The you, you nobody know above the you know what nobody above the program. You know where the program come in at on the yard. These niggas don't know what a program is. The program is a program time. Ain't nobody above the program. When you hit that penitentiary, I don't give a fuck where you from, Big Tookie, whoever the fuck you is. When you hit that yard, ain't nobody above the program. You come in there, uh, gang banging, and, and, and press up on, 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 on another race, and we've been in here programming, you are going to get mangled immediately. You're out of there. You're not going to come on no yard kicking no dust with no young wild shit. When you get there, you're gonna follow the program. Yeah, that's I don't the give a fuck who Nobody you is. Nobody the program on the you, streets, though. Yeah, what you hope? Because they never, they never been, they never been to the program. Even some niggas that really been up in there, them niggas kind of like not really following the yeah, program. Well, they, they the ones on them turnarounds. <laughs> 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 yeah, I just know, came from Folsom. <laughs> yeah, you was on turnaround. You, 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 you made it to Hatchby, nigga. Shut yeah. up. You, <laughs> you know, you know, you know one name that I we continue to. Like four times. You, you, you know one name that we continue to mention. I've been to all over. You know one name that we continue to mention and i want to kind of like see your thoughts on it um as bone and everything yeah yeah so you oh, good you good um i want to kind of get your thoughts on it as bone and everything like that you know we mentioned nip you know somebody who you know especially in la you know we saw bring the city together he did so much he was putting so much positivity you know out there you know uh what, what are your thoughts on nip and everything like that as bone man you know what i'm gonna keep it a hundred before I wasn't even listening to Nip because of what the homie said earlier. You know what I'm saying? We had had some little issues and shit. Like, cause I wasn't, I'm like, nigga, I ain't my, my, but my road dog from the hood, that nigga love Nip. And he put me up on Nip. Like, bro, this nigga, he ain't, he ain't even talking gangbang shit, bro. Listen to this nigga. 
So I start listening to him. I'm like, this nigga hard. You feel me? So like, I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I'm definitely uh, a Nip fan for sure. But I was just, nigga, I was I was working for UPS uh, when that shit happened. Nigga, I was at work crying and all that. Nigga, delivery and all at the door. Like, they like, what the hell is wrong with you? I'm like, you feel me? I got my headphones on. This shit was, nigga, I was mad as a bitch. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? And how I felt was like when Tupac got killed. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, I wanted yeah. to go to Compton and get cracking. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> nigga, yeah, when yeah. Nip got, uh, uh, that yeah. shit happened to Nip, yeah. nigga was like, cuz, like, hell no, that ain't never supposed to happen, nigga, on never, no terms. Never. You know what I'm saying? But if, but if, but if, but if a nigga's a grown man, meaning Nip was a man, he did what he wanted to do, and he move and operate how he gonna want to do. Yeah. You know, you know, he did what he wanted to do, you feel yeah. me? Yeah, Meaning, yeah, nigga, because I wanted, you know, he a, he a regular hood nigga. Right. So he wasn't really operating in the hood, like probably like with fake security type shit and all that other shit, because yeah. he, ain't, he ain't tripping off that type shit, you know what I'm saying? But if he was like Hollywood celebrity type shit and had that, then niggas would have been like, oh, this nigga Nip got security all right here with him and shit, like this nigga, woo. Yeah. So nigga wouldn't have win for losing with that situation, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I wish he would have did it that way, then Cud would have still been all the way live and shit, because... Yeah. He was trying to, he was, he was on to some big shit, nigga, you know what I'm saying? Just like everybody met up right there on uh, Sloss and Crenshaw, everybody but them boys and shit. So, you know, that's really the main poison and the shit that a nigga really, you know what I'm saying, need to concentrate on because really, we can get control of L.A. as far as on the like, you know what I'm saying? No, no popping and all that. And niggas in Compton, they gonna, they gonna get they homies. Niggas in Long Beach, they get they homies. Niggas in Watts, they get they homies. Niggas in Inglewood, get they homies. Niggas can get they homies. Mm. But it's just it's just the homies and then the mother boys over there. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what a nigga gotta uh, crack the Da Vinci Code to that. And then we'll be moving in the right direction as far I as know. on the street in LA. I know, I've been yeah. working on that. I've been working on that, trying to. Uh, that's an ugly situation, cause you know yeah. what I'm saying. When niggas step out and do that, bro, that's like nigga, you know, you. Yeah. As far as LA people know what that means, especially yeah. homies. Yeah. But you know the, what I'm the, saying, the and that's got, crazy that it's like that. Got a code, like like you know, uh, you know, you gotta realize that the, the neighborhoods had the neighborhood card. Then you got the Sawu moving and grooving. You know what I mean? They came, so you got Bloods and Crips. That's showing me Bloods and Crips getting along. Right. You feel me? I go into some of them tanks and I see the sewer moving and grooving. And I see and they come in sewer and I see the Crips come give them hugs. Yeah, that was some new shit yeah, right now, there. But I'm saying, I wow. see, but but what I'm saying is, I can. That was Crips. That was, it was sewer moving and grooving, but that was Crips and Bloods. They weren't along. homies though. No, 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 wasn't homies. That was yeah. they, that was they that was they thing because yeah. the home because the they hoods, weren't looking at it like because the hoods was the 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 the, 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 the forties to the hundreds. You know what I mean? So 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 they had to. You know, cause the, the home of the hoods was too deep. You know Open what I mean? The neighborhood car. So, but but what I looked at it is like, okay, they came together though. That was Bloods and Crips coming together though. You feel That's me? Really what it even was. though it was coming together just to so so it'd be even the odds against the, the neighborhood car. Right. You know what I mean? But it showed progression. It showed that he can get along. Right. So now can we get the neighborhood car to progress over? Right. Then the Hoover car to come in. Right. You know what I mean? eventually and go that's further. that's really that's really what that's really why i keep doing what i'm doing you know what i'm yeah. saying that's my main shit and i know and that's why I, that's why i be telling motherfuckers when i be on this motherfucker like i understand i know man i i know just to even say that out your mouth i know bro but you could best believe niggas that's behind the wall bro come on nigga. that's the case you ain't gonna never get out because every time you get out and you see them niggas on the line right there them boys nigga, you should be rushing them niggas Nah. Every time you you come out on the main line when you in jail, when you see the boys, you should be rushing. Don't be cool in there programming and all that. Then get out. Then you like, oh fuck them niggas and all that on hood and yeah, all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just you in jail, nigga. Max out. Fuck it. Uh, they like, damn, that nigga was in there cracking. That nigga yeah, was yeah. squabbling everything. They in the pen yeah, and yeah, all that. Yeah, they, they, yeah. they had to send that nigga to the shoe and all that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and he out it. cracking. Then we gonna respect that whole yeah, ism. Like yeah, fuck yeah, it. He just that's yeah, just what it is. That's what it is. But don't be up in there like that. Then come right here and be like that. Cause Real the shit. only thing that separate that from that niggas got hammers. You know what I'm saying? In there ain't no hammers. A lot of these niggas can't fight. You know what yeah, I'm saying? That's why I be telling these niggas to work out because you niggas out here on the street dancing, turning up and shit. Yeah. God forbid you get cracked, go to jail for probably a month, two months. Them niggas in there is like gorillas right yeah, now yeah, waiting yeah. on niggas. While yeah, we right here smoking on this bullshit, yeah, yeah. whatever time it is, they don't even know what time it is. Nigga, they in the county, no windows and all that. Yeah, nigga, they in there like, nigga, who was that nigga? Nigga, it's a whole line, nigga. Them niggas in nigga drooling, nigga, wait. So you niggas better be in shape and be ready while you out here pump face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They come you know what I'm talking get, about? Yeah. Especially when they popping yeah, it, though. Yeah, I don't want to see you in that 
that yellow and that blue, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> I done seen him all the time. I done seen him. Yellow and blue. What you doing over there? Oh, you know, I'm trying to beat this cat. Yeah, all Come right. on, man. Yeah, all right. Come yeah, on, man. Right. Yeah. I'll, I'll get my psych meds over here in these blues. That's L.A. term. I'm getting my same psych meds over here, nigga. That's Stop LA it. You ain't got to be over there, nigga. Yeah. They give me my rim rhymes right here, nigga. Shut yeah. up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, when it when it when it come down to like you know the conversations y'all having right now, and you know being sitting right here at this podcast, like you know this is what you know I I built this for. Like this this right here to me is just this is some powerful shit. You know what I'm saying? So what I want to ask both of y'all is um. What do y'all believe something like this could do for the community? You know what I'm saying? Y'all coming together from two, you know, different, you know, uh, uh, same same city. You know what I'm saying? You know, and everything like that, but two different sets and everything like that. What, what do y'all think this could really do for the streets and do for the community? Yeah, well, this show change. It show change, you know, uh, that as as older, as older, we, we're growing out of those stages. We're not doing the shit as we did when we were children. You know what I mean? We were young, turned up. So I look at some of these youngsters, like, you know, as an OG in the game, you know, when I'm out in traffic, I know who to look out for. You know, I look at those, you know, 13, 14, 15, them little young gangbangers right there with the backpacks on, and niggas that's under the radar that you would never notice, you know what I mean? So us being out there, we got to step up and let them know you still young doing it, but you're going to head here, you're going to prison, you're going to go here, you're going to go there. So we got to continue to show them, don't go down that road. You know, uh, I felt after them, I could never out-rap him, but I have to at least guide him the right way. Cause you know, Nip, when I came home from prison, it's maybe like, I probably got like five, six, maybe seven homies that's up under me, you know what I mean? So they all like, I wanna get put on the hood. And I gave him the same spiel, man, you don't wanna be from the hood. This shit's watered down, it's this, it's that. No, man, we wanna be from the hood. Cause they wanted acceptance, even with Nipsey. I was like, uh, who, was, who was bro right there? That I, oh man, I just eat, he's just a rapper. You know what I mean? But then that's the only thing they had uh, hanging over his head that they was from the hood and he wasn't. So when he got from the hood, he took the positive energy that he had and he took the hood swag and he, and he laid it. And motherfuckers like, that shit hard because he was a positive person. So like when you look and listen to Bullets Ain't Got No Name, listen to that first uh, mixtape and look how he was in the field playing ball all the way to Marathon Day and look at Victory Lap. Look how he evolved. So as, as a youngster, we, we make childish mistakes. We in the hood, we vulnerable, we looking up to these gangbangers. So now they looking up to Cowboy, I need to let them know, no, nah, that ain't cool. They used to look up to me with my shit permed out and I'm out here gangbanging blue rags and shit. No, nah, that was cool at the time because I was young and I felt that was cool. But now that I'm older and been to prison five, six, seven times, I don't need you to go there. Yeah. If you want to go, look, okay, where well you go, look, you got to lace your boots when you get there, da 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 If you and Chuck a Waller, nigga, they got scorpions, and I'm gonna let you know how to do it. Feel me? But you're going there. So as an OG, we can't just not, we can't let the internet raise our children. We got to still, if you got love for your hood, speak out. Yeah. Step up, speak out, let them know it's some bullshit. Unite, come together, we black people. Fuck that block that you don't own nothing in, that your mama, you still at your mama couch. You ain't gotta die for that block. You feel me? Come together as black people. Yeah. Then we can get along with other people. We gotta learn, try to get along in your hood. You feel me? Like, let's implement every hood. If y'all got an issue, take the fade. Yeah, yeah. If you if you're not, if you if the dude too big or whatever, size it up right. Maybe your uncle will take the fade for you. Whatever. Let's resort to blacks got an issue. Let's take fades. Yeah, yeah. That's a start. Yeah. If we got issues in LA, let's take fades. And that's a start. And that's some grown man shit. Take a fade. Cause if you came home and you was beat up, you get, mama, what happened? Oh, your brother, come on, I gotta take that fade. Oh, his big cousin whooped you. Oh no, it's big cousin 19, hold up. Let's line it up. Yeah. Let's get back to the way it's supposed to be. If everybody politicking, okay, let's do it right. Let's do it right and stop the killing. Who got a problem with that? That's what, that's what I'm saying. Anybody got a problem with stop the killing is a coward. Man. We talking about stop the killing. I know it's some fresh shit. I know somebody might have just died last week. It's hard. But a lot of niggas are still dying for beefs to happen in the 80s and way back then. Yeah. I know it's some fresh shit that went down and it's hard to get over it, but ain't nobody winning the war. You go put in work every day this week. Next week they put in work every Ain't nobody put a dent in nothing. Yeah. It is more and more and more just nothing and, and we just killing each other. Yeah, yeah. So like I said, if you're on these podcasts, quit gang politicking. If you got politics with a nigga, you shoot that under the table. 
Yeah. If you're on here and you're from LA and you gangbang where you're from, talk about intervention, talk about change on these podcasts. Quit talking about, quit dwelling on the killing and the killing and the killing. Let's change the narrative. Let's get on the positive. That's what it boils down to. And yeah. anybody that's nitpicking at what we're doing, we know we're doing all positive. So if they nitpicking, we know what side they on. It's a line. It's a line in the concrete. The good side, the good, and they go to evil. Yeah, yeah. The sheep and the goats. Yeah. It's plain as day. And once you know it, you know it. So I look at it, okay? I see how they operating. So I know now I can meet gentlemen like this that's on the right page. Feel me? We marathon runners, so he running, he running this race. Man, he ain't like paying attention mom. to me. I'm, I'm on the side, I'm getting. Yeah, I don't even know he how getting. I'm even right here. Like, yeah. I'm really like a nigga that's, like, I'm a regular ass nigga. Like, I'm right here with this nigga. This nigga done been with Nip all over, wherever, whatever, you feel me? Like, I'm yeah. a regular ass nigga, so I'm just humble to be right here. You know what I'm saying? First and foremost, so like he said, I guess I am running my lap, you yeah, feel me? Yeah, you running your I lap. I definitely, uh, Nip is like, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, I listen to his shit like he say, like Bible verses, you feel me? Quote yeah. my words like Bible verses, you feel me? Yeah, yeah. So it was just something about, uh, you know, that's that, that motivation. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That exactly. motivation. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was always like that, but that just really just, just pushed it out, you know what I'm saying, on a whole nother level, you know what I'm saying? But I, I started this whole little platform because of some stuff going on with the blacks and the Mexicans. And I spoke on that, you feel me? So that's what started all this old stuff or whatever because, man, it's the, it's, it's like the same two-step, same story, like, you feel me? You know, like I said, I started my shit, I'm from L.A. I just brought all the other little people up in here, you know what I'm saying, and all that, because, you know, I don't want everybody to feel left out, all type shit, you feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, if you look at the mirror and you're looking like me and you, yeah. same color skin, yeah. I'm talking to y'all. I'm bringing all y'all up in there, too, but I'm really talking to my folks, you know what I'm saying? Anybody that really check out my page. I ain't on yeah. there on the riffraff. Yeah. Nigga, yeah. you know who I am, nigga. Clearly, I ain't hide, nigga. That's the case, nigga. I wouldn't be on motherfucking uh, social media, nigga. You yeah. feel me? Yeah. So. Yeah, man. And what's but, the but page? What, Same number. And what, hey, page, what page they follow you at? We'll tap in real fast. What uh, page you at? S-Bone Curbside TV on YouTube. And I think uh, S-Bone Dark Official on Instagram. And that's yeah, what I'm yeah. talking about. And, and, go, and going back a little bit real quick, I want to also kind of like get your thoughts, though, on what do you think this could do for the community? You sitting down with somebody who's from a, a totally different set, come from the same city and everything like that. What you know? Uh, uh, what, what is your goal, and what do you, what 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 do you think this could do when it come down to you know? Well, the to keep it real, I really don't look at it like uh, like two different sets, like two different sets sitting down because mm -hmm. that's easy. This an easy call. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? That's yeah, like yeah. that's like a layup. Like like he said, whatever you said, like nigga call. That's a layup. Like niggas, like we neighborhoods. We really ain't. If you a real one, you shouldn't be that hard to track down, right? Yeah. You feel me? <laughs> but as far as like. It got to be, you know what I'm saying, somebody from that other side. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. But as far as this, this always going to be big because, you know, you got people watching. You know what I'm saying? You got a whole other generation. He got a whole other following. I got a following. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah. you know, it's like it's really good for the homies and shit, you feel me, to keep it clean and shit because we've mm -hmm. really been through a lot. You feel me? A lot of... Uh, a lot of a lot of tears and a lot of you know what I'm saying, a lot of ill feelings and, 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 and pain and, and probably animosity and still like underhand type little ism and shit. But you feel me, it's really good, you know what I'm saying, just all the way around. You feel yeah, me? Yeah. It's good for me too, as far as my platform, me myself. That's you know right. what I'm saying? So I appreciate that. You feel That's me? Right. For for allowing the nigga to come on here and just breathe on the mic. You yeah. know what I'm talking about? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And uh Hey, hey, don't forget, don't forget, Myers, Myers, Sheffield, booking, booking, Myers, Sheffield, Myers, uh, Sheffield. You know what I'm saying? Good looking out, <laughs> good looking to the out. black queen that looked out for me on the real because she didn't have to. Yeah. You feel me? I'm just a regular person. You know what I'm saying? I'm off the curb with it. That's why I came up with Curbside TV. Actually, my boy Dream Farm, he from uh, he from '60s. You know what I'm saying? He from oh, right, '60s right. in a whole another place though. Got he you. came up with that name. We was uh, politicking about that name. I'm like, I like that because yeah. I'm really off the curb with it. Because you gonna see me up, down. You gonna see me whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, I'm meeting hell with a gun and a Bible. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and that's basically for any type of 
you know, shit that's gonna come my way. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Because I battle. ain't really own that, yeah. but I know it's gonna come. So you know, I'm gonna deal with it how it comes. Yeah, you yeah. got your that's Bible. Really you got your is. Bible on what you stand on, and you you about you about ready to yeah, get every, back on with I'm, the business. It's gonna be all off the Bible. Yeah, exactly. However, I judge anybody. Yeah. you feel me? Yeah, you go. I'm gonna judge myself before I even judge another motherfucker. Yeah, you, you feel yeah. me? Yes, sir. So that's just me myself. I can't speak for everybody. That's why I said earlier. Get into your Bible, you know what I'm saying? Start checking them verses off. You know what I'm Sorry. saying? Start out in um, Genesis. That's the first chapter. Mm -hmm. You ain't got to read a gang of them. Just read like two or three pages. Yeah. And that's it. Close the Bible. Mm. Don't, you know what I'm saying? Just, just, just read two pages or three and yeah. then just close the Bible up and then probably go read them two or three again. You yeah, feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then you move on, you know what I'm saying? Gradually. Don't just try to read it like it's a regular book. Yeah, Cause yeah, it yeah. ain't a book where you could just read and like, oh yeah, I read yeah. this uh, coldest winter ever. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Whatever. You know, nah. Yeah. You know, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta study it, and exactly. it, and, and, and the spirit gonna kind of guide you to where the verses you need to read. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Cause yeah. you gonna be need to hear whatever it is you need to hear that particular day. Yeah. That's yeah. why I always say protect your energy, man. That's to everybody. You feel me? I don't care where you from. You already know. You know what I'm saying? That that's all I got for anybody. You know what I'm saying? And anything else is like I said, hey. I yeah, do yeah. that when it comes. Yeah, talking about coming together and everything like that, you know, uh, um, what, what do y'all, what do y'all think when y'all see two individuals who, you know, on the internet, oh, people thought it was beef and everything like that. When it come down to um, Blueface and Crip Mac, who came together and it was positivity, as uh, you know, Crips and everything like that. What are y'all thoughts when y'all see something like that? Is that kind of like what y'all are like? Look, this is what we trying to see. This is what we trying to promote and everything like that. What are y'all thoughts when something like that happens? I mean, that's what it's all about. You know, anytime you can see a positive outcome, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, we can't let the internet uh, pump us up to uh, be against each other. You know, uh, right now, we're the only race tearing each other down on social media. We, that's all Facts. we do. We're just looking up, yeah. digging up dirt on each other Facts. and one podcast against Blacks the other. Blacks love that. They love to smear each other, boy. Yeah. They love that. And cold part about it is, this nigga right here that's running his lips, Straight B.I., you know what I'm saying? They ain't gonna squabble nothing. <laughs> right now, nigga, whatever today is. What's today? Thursday? Friday, Friday nigga, yeah, knock yeah, it off. Yeah. But love to, love to be the first to know whatever the gossip is going on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Them type of dudes. Yeah. It's yeah. a lot of them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's hard to weed through them, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, they get, you know, they all over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel yeah. me? Yeah, we outnumbered. Like I said, we outnumbered. Like, even when you go to them yards now, like you said, when we was coming up, it wasn't no PC yards. It may be that one little yard. They might have had one little section. Now they right, got the whole they now. got the whole prison. You it's know, now, now now the, the, the GP is the PC because it's less GP and more SNY. Yeah, yeah. So they got A, B, and C yard. You know what I mean? Maybe one, you might got the D yard. That may be the straight yard. You know what I mean? Or, you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah. Everything is changing, you know. Uh, so it's time for change, though. It's time for us as a people to really come together, though. You know, that's what it's about. You know, it's time, like you said, get into your Bible. It's, it's, it's really spiritual going on. You really need to tap in and really see what's going on yeah. in the world. You know, while we're over here bickering, tearing each other down, the world moving and, and, it's, and it's coming to an end. So yeah. it's time to. It's uh, definitely on its way coming to an end. You know what I'm saying? Like if you somebody and see. That's another thing for the black people, you know what I'm saying? We was raised, you know what I'm saying, off tradition, you know what I'm saying, history, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? And, and, and they trying to wipe that away, you know what I'm saying? I ain't just talking about like your kids and all that old stuff. I'm talking about just in general, you know what I'm saying? Black people need to be aware of that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, you know, they, they trying everything they can try and we helping them, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, we got to get it together. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? That's, and, and I know once L.A. do what we need to do, everybody else going to follow suit in all the other states. I promise you. You yeah, feel sir. me? I promise you. They going to follow sir. us. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then I might be already dead or something. You feel me? But the message already got there. You feel me? Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So I ain't really tripping. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. it is what it is. Yeah. Why did that turnaround happen for you, though, S-Bone? Like, when was when did it happen when you was like, you know what? I'm done with this shit. Like, I want to see things change. You no, know? I and got, that's what, that's got, the mission I'm on now. I got shot four times. Yeah. I got shot four times. I couldn't believe it. I'm like, nigga, I'm getting shot in my own hood. Even though I got shot the first time in the hood, but <laughs> this time I'm like, huh, wow. I'm getting shot in the hood, nigga, you, are you serious? So I was kind of like, damn, but you know, I would say like it changed me, 
You know what I'm saying? Because it don't make me feel like, like, oh, I can't really trust nobody because this was somebody I knew, like, grew up with and all that. So it didn't change me. Like, I'm glad it didn't make me like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, traumatize me like that. You know what I'm saying? It just made me like, damn. I tried. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a fighter first, though. I can't help it. You know what I'm saying? And, and we all knew the same neutral people. And you know what I'm saying? They're like, man, you know the nigga. You know, he ain't gonna, we ain't gonna fight. And I'm like, man, you, I ain't even really tripping. Not a nigga I know, like nigga, nigga, I'm, nigga wouldn't, I'm about to punch on you, nigga, definitely, yeah. for sure. Yeah, yeah. That's why they doing now, they paying for phase now, but they just changed it to ce celebrity boxing matches now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now they'll pay you for a phase, so, yeah. so whoever I got a problem with, I need you niggas to get famous a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So I can squabble you niggas, I guess. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's what they trying to <laughs> you, do. You, you know it's so crazy, big on. I'm sorry I inter interrupt you and everything like that, but uh, uh, you know, might as well say it and everything like that. Eleven, eleven, actually uh, talking about you know because the boxing matches and everything. You know, uh, uh, eleven, eleven, they actually called me, and they was saying, I guess, um, you know, and he put it out there, so I'm put it out there, but I guess. You know, 600 want to set up a match, you know, with you and everything like that, so. Yeah, well, I you mean, know, all that was a publicity stunt. Uh, <laughs> a couple of promoters that came by the shop, yeah, and, yeah. and uh, uh, I had just beat a fool up, uh, caught a nigga breaking in my car and beat this fool up. My, my shit was busted. Yeah. So, you know, I'm on my way to the hospital here a couple of hours. He talking about he accepted fade, you know. So, you know, <laughs> whatever, whatever the, the publicity stunt was, it don't matter. You know, uh, like I told them when the promoters came, I told him, I'm not gonna box this dude, he's not gonna get no bag out of me. I'll bare knuckle fight that nigga in the cage, we can fight. Mm. You wanna fight, we can bare knuckle, and I will bare knuckle fight you in the cage, we don't need no referees or none of that shit. Let's go squabble, let's Thunderdome. I'm from the hood, we Thunderdome. You a boxer, you box. You feel me, my feet work, everything work on mine. So we can, if you want to fight, and I told him that. So then he go live and say, yeah, we'll go in there with the gloves. Cause I told them niggas, I'm not gonna do no gloves. We're gonna go bare knuckle in a cage. Mm. Or <laughs> it could be arena. It don't matter, we bare knuckle in the arena. I don't give a fuck. We we'll be bare knuckle somewhere. And now that you hear politics, and now it won't be through 11-11. Yeah. It won't be through none of the platforms that he affiliated with. Mm. See, you might as the, the, well make so, it count no, if you're going to get yeah, paid. I, no, but the whack nigga, see, the whack 100 nigga say, okay, they knew Brick Baby, I was going to beat the brakes off of Cuz, and he wasn't going to get his hit, he wasn't get a bag. So they went and got this washed up boxer, ex police, whatever, to come get his page monetized. So go pick a cowboy. Cowboy going to go in on you, and we're going to get you the fight that you never got and get you a bag. Cuz is playing chess over there. The Pacoima nigga over there playing chess. You feel me? So he sent this big old crash dummy over there. You know, uh, uh, my big homie was in my ear, and I'm like, yeah, I, at the time, I'm, you know, I, whatever. Like, But then as I'm seeing, like, hmm, now it makes sense. Because I don't know these dudes. But homies that know them is telling me who the puppeteer is and what's going on. So now for me to agree to a fight, for me to put it on y'all platform, for me to, you niggas ain't got enough money for me. Nigga, you a gangbanger now, nigga. You politicking. You gonna meet me right in the alley in the hood, nigga. I'm gonna beat your ass, nigga. We gonna squabble up. I'll fight you for free. You're not gonna get no bag off of me. You're not gonna get a bag off of me, cause that was your whole intent. That was the whole intent. The no jumper breakdown. The whole that's the whole intent. Mm. And they went and got uh, some big old heavyweight boxer to fight cowboy. You see all the shit that been going on. All the phase I've been telling niggas, take the phase, take the phase, take the phase. They went and got this big crash dummy. Pump up your, start talking shit about him, talking shit about him. He gonna go in on you, get your, get your watch hours up, get your shit monetized, we gonna get you that fight. Nah, nigga. I'll that be your, bag, I'll be bag, your Huckleberry, big, nigga. I, I'm gonna be your Huckleberry. Nah, them niggas ain't got no bag and I'm not gonna televise it on they platform. Nigga, you a gangbanger, we don't televise gangbanging squabbles, nigga. Right. Nigga mm -hmm. come to, they call one of the big homies and tell me where to meet you at, nigga, so we can fight, nigga. Feel me? Mm -hmm. Talking about, I'm a tail, nigga. Don't, don't insult me like that, nigga. You a boxer. You can pull up with your billy, nigga, and take the fade, nigga. I don't want to hear nothing. Nothing. I got multiple niggas that... You, you, uh, you got issues, nigga. You got issues. You got issues. He want me to get out here politicking. That's what it... You set a That's crash dummy in. Get, get me politicking. Get me politicking. Oh, Cowboys are shot calling. No, 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 no. Cowboys trying to... 
do intervention. But if you talking that shit, I will beat your ass. Or you gonna knock me out while I'm trying. Right. That's it, I'm gonna take off. So you got a couple options, nigga. So quit jeopardizing my life on the internet. If you got some real legitimate paperwork, get your paperwork, bring it to the table, call the homies up, tell me where you want me to meet at, and let's handle these issues. It's not for the internet if you a real one. Don't use my life to get your page up. That ain't cool. Now you got it. Now you got real issues though. The worst thing you can do is start politicking and you and you really ain't nobody. That's the worst thing you could do. That's the worst thing you can do. Is act like you from somewhere. You really act like you really 600 from 60s? What, what is your hood? Who, who are you? Some crash dummies. Crash dummies. Hey, better stay in their lane, boy. Now, yeah, hey, you don't, you don't, man, you don't, you want to be from 60s? That's the worst thing you should have ever done in your life, nigga. I fucked my life off on the 60s, nigga. Yeah. Come on in, nigga. Come on in. <laughs> come on in. There's enough room up in here. Yeah, come on in, nigga. Yeah, we trying to get out, nigga. Yeah. We trying to get out. You trying to come in. You trying to politic, nigga. You trying to politic, nigga. All right. Yeah, okay. You going to get politic. Like I said, a lot of motherfuckers love me. If they don't agree with, if they don't agree with what I did, it's all good. Right. A lot of motherfuckers love me and they love what I stand for. So if you want to do harm to Cowboy, my big homie got my back up there and mm -hmm. then and I got I got a nigga boy you have face from every hood Let's walk around LA big popping you big popping walk around LA yeah yeah do y'all think it's like black individuals like we could ever get to that place you know where you know even with ones who we never seen we could sit down with and resolve stuff with we could do that for instance like s -bone. do you think that you could ever see yourself and I know it's going far but do you think you could ever see yourself sitting down with the person if you knew who it was who shot you I know who shot me do you do you feel like you could sit down and have a conversation with that person? Hell no. Okay. Hell no. Yeah, yeah. Hell no. I can't even get to him. Mm. You know what I'm saying? He in jail for two other little bullshit, little isms and shit. So I couldn't even get to him. You feel me? So uh. I don't feel cool because he in jail. I really don't to keep it clean. But you know, yeah, I couldn't yeah. catch up with him in time. So you know. He wherever he at, but never, you feel me? I had a, you know, hell no. Nah. I couldn't sit down with that nigga. Mm. Nigga, that nigga shot me. I, I, want, I probably want to squabble that nigga again. Yeah. You know, like in the first place. That's my <laughs> natural, <laughs> that's my natural <laughs> instinct. I yeah. can't help it. Yeah, you ran across me, I'm still gonna saying? be like, I'm still gonna need that nigga. <laughs> yeah, oh God, nigga. Like, yeah, yeah. I probably won't even shoot that nigga. Yeah. I yeah. still want to like beat that nigga up like yeah, like yeah. I wanted to in the first place. Like, yeah, nigga, yeah, is you serious? Yeah. Like, bro, stop it. Don't play with me. Yeah, yeah. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. But he wasn't saying nothing. He was just being like, just smiling and being sarcastic. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't really saying nothing. Wow. Yeah. I'm like, cuz. It was because it was like early in the morning. I'm like, I need that, cuz. I'm good. And I got in the street. And next thing you know, that nigga had the hammer out. Mm. And I'm like, damn. I'm like, cuz, you going to shoot me? Like, come on, bro. This nigga done called me. Nigga, like, nigga, I was 911 for that nigga a few times. And I was saying that shit too. While he was doing this Dougie, trying to snap him back to reality. Like, nigga, do you know you, like, you know what I'm saying? I was a nigga on hood, nigga. That nigga know. On hood. Nigga, I hope that nigga see this. He know. Nigga, I was talking shit and all that while that nigga shooting at me. Nigga, you know, nigga. You better make it count, bro. Scared of that nigga, ass with Oh, my mind. mama, nigga. It was a day after my birthday. My birthday, February 10th. Wow. It was February 11th, nigga. On hood, you feel me? Yeah, yeah. You shot me over a fade, cuz on hood. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you know, that's part of life. You feel me? And, you know, and, and that's what y'all niggas want to join. We ain't trying to join that type shit. That's, that's why we, we a, trying to ugly, intervention It's an ugly game, mm -hmm. bro, because exactly. it's an ugly game out here in the street. That's why I be telling these people, not even just young folks, black people in general. You know what I'm saying? If you out here in these LA streets, you out here operating, make sure you online, bro. You know what I'm saying? This shit ain't internet. I don't care if y'all eyes is watching this on the TV, <laughs> on the iPhone, on the pad, on yeah. whatever. Yeah. Nigga, 
When these cameras cut off, nigga, this shit always been real life. The people yeah. y'all looking at on this motherfucker, this shit is real life. Niggas got yeah. real life issues. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Only thing different is niggas' pockets. Everybody' pockets is different. You yeah, feel me? You niggas yeah, quit yeah, pocket yeah, watching, yeah, though. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah, quit yeah. speaking up on shit you ain't really ready to deal with. Because what people don't realize is when they saying niggas is, is a snitch, they basically saying, like, nigga, I'm going to kill you, nigga. Uh, uh, I don't know nothing uh, about uh, all the other shit. Uh, but the, the problem is... They get to say that, and then they don't have no ramifications for saying yeah, that. Yeah. So it's it's majority of that going on. Yeah. Like I said, it's more and you getting talking than chalking. Well, I'm saying yeah, you yeah, getting yeah. on the internet. Either so way, you get yeah. chalked up. Yeah, yeah, you feel me? Yeah, That's yeah. just how it go. Because if yeah. you in jail, you gonna have an issue. Niggas uh, gonna niggas gonna bust on both of you niggas. Yeah. Uh, you said Cuz did X, Y, and Z. Uh, you ain't got shit to back that up. Uh, they finna that. be looking at this nigga because they said this about you. They finna see how this nigga acting. Oh, nigga, we about to bust on both you niggas. Now both you niggas out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just how it go. That's yeah, how it yeah. go. Y'all just made them niggas day. They been down forever. Nigga, that was a little <laughs> recreation type <laughs> shit, nigga. They like, nigga, we still got it. Yeah, yeah. We out here programming. Why y'all, why y'all bullshit? Pro, that's why I always be telling motherfuckers, nigga, this shit is forever, nigga. You don't got to do the bullshit that consists of this shit. But this shit is forever. Niggas got... You know what I'm saying? Like you got your certain loved ones, nigga. You know what I'm saying? It might, it might not be your whole hood. You feel me? You yeah. might got your. You, I'm saying you don't. You just need your team. Yeah. That's it. Unfortunately, you know what I'm saying. You make sure your team is you first. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That yeah. way your team know, nigga. You know you a team too. Yeah. Cause I'm definitely a team by myself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I want niggas by me that's like that, that's thinking with that type of mindset. You know what I'm saying? We ain't trying to wreck shop. You know what I'm saying? We trying to really figure it out, make a difference. You know what I'm saying? Put that good energy out there and keep people on their square because people people get sidetracked. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? People get sidetracked from time to time. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I'm just trying to keep their ass on the straight and narrow and shit and just, 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 just protect your energy and just stay focused. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Stop yeah. trying to always, like I'm saying, smearing, smearing black people. Like, mm. you know, black people, man, we hate each other, bro. We hate each other, like yeah, yeah. you know, for whatever reason. Like I said, we bamboozle. It's crazy. We work, bro. Yeah. Even you know, like I said, I ain't even tripping, bro. A nigga come with some bullshit. I gotta do what I gotta do. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Because I'm from a a certain section in L.A. You know what I'm saying? I can be anywhere, like regular. Like this nigga probably ain't never seen me on on YouTube. Be like, oh, this nigga, this nigga got the. This nigga got the, the app on, this nigga got the, 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 the license plates on his neck and shit, you know what I'm saying? And, and then nigga just, just air my shit out. Yeah, yeah. Just like that, my shit over with, just that fast. Wow. As much shit I, I, I done went through, and, and God blessed me to make it through, I get caught on the humbug on some bullshit, but, uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That's why I say it's got to be that side, bro. Yeah. You know, first, put them hammers down, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't trying to hear all that other shit, nigga. Everybody got a hammer, like nigga. That shit ain't nothing, nigga. Then you get up in that motherfucker, you be scared to death. Yeah, oh yeah, God, yeah. nice as rice, sitting on the bunk, not taking a shower, <laughs> all that, giving <laughs> niggas three ways and shit, all that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, as about earlier, niggas chips and shit. <laughs> you know, earlier you mentioned you know snitching and stuff like that. You know, right now, I've never seen snitching talked about the way it is today especially when it comes down right. to hip hop and rap culture right. you see in a new interrogation video a, a new video of someone in court you know every saying day, this in every day out. right when it comes down to that you know is this something that you know y'all coming from where y'all come from y'all 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 always seen and this ain't new to y'all is this something really new it's when it comes down culture. to rap culture it's right the now. black culture yeah yeah it's the black culture it's not any other race and all that the black culture you feel me we we complex over that homosexuality, you feel me, uh, 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 growing up without fathers and stuff. So we all just all just all messed up, you feel me? Every yeah. Everything is a trigger for the black people, the black culture. Not just in L.A., all over, you feel me? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And as far as the snitching shit, you know, that's, nigga, that's, hot, that's a hot topic, but that's what I'm saying. They don't understand what come with that. You feel me? This is not just clickbait. You just can't be just saying stuff and... You know, cause when you're saying that, you basically saying, like, nigga, I'm going to kill you. Mm. I don't know about what they doing in 2023 and all that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you get whooped for that. You feel me? That's a problem. You know what I'm saying? That's not something you should throw out there. You feel me? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, 
Yeah, you would die for that. My thing is don't throw <laughs> it out. There. For that. Don't throw it out there if you're not gonna do nothing. If you throwing it out there on the internet, if you wanna do something about it, don't don't put it on the internet. Just call the hood and come do something about it. Or whatever you're gonna right. do, do something Politic about right. it. Right. Yeah, that, but it's podcasters it. doing it. People like ten ninety J, who you know he's a white boy but, but, but and everything like is, that. Those but are what happens know, is but what happens out. is what's what's supposed to happen is the politics supposed to be right down the line. Mm. It's not supposed to be selective politics. There you go. It's supposed to go down the line. Now, if niggas actually did politics the way it's supposed to go, nigga, uh, nigga, the hood to have a new face uh, Monday, nigga, today's Friday. You know, every I'm talking about everywhere all over LA. You know what I'm saying? It'd be a new, it, you, you'd be, you know what I'm saying? Like if it was just like some magic type shit, <laughs> and, and God could just make niggas disappear like doo doo, like we'd just be knowing off top. Niggas be like, damn, you feel me? Yeah. So that's just what it is, man. We just didn't know about that because it's the internet now. You know what I'm saying? These niggas been around us. The, you know what I'm saying? It make a lot of sense to me because I was always going to jail. Every time I'm in the hood, police pulling up. Nigga, I'm getting cracked like a breakfast egg. Yeah. So you yeah. feel me? Yeah. Yeah. Man, yeah. I don't it's know. Change, though. Yeah. That's yeah. it. That, it just in the, it's just more in the open right now. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. They actually praise they praise them dudes and weirdos. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. They praise people like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so. Exactly. That's just what it is. They don't really down talk them. Yeah. They really praise them. Yeah. Because yeah. if it was an issue, you supposed to do what you supposed to do. Yeah. You feel me? If it's the realism, you feel me? No matter who they is or wherever, you know what I'm saying? As far as this podcast, you know, that's what they pumping out. Whatever, yeah. whatever is going to boost the numbers up, that's what they're going to push. Yeah, they're yeah. going to push that. They're going to push whatever comes next. And after that, so forth, so forth. Because yeah, yeah. they really want to blow it up. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. nigga... You know, you, you definitely can't be throwing that word out there, nigga. That's something that'll get you whooped. Yeah. You feel exactly. me? Yeah. You definitely don't throw that out there. So that's what I want to put that out there to the youth. I'll be putting that out there, too. You definitely can't play like that. you get your shit whooped. Yeah, you got niggas in, in these different pockets in L.A. They play like that. They just ain't got whooped. Yeah, they catch up with them. You yeah. feel me? Karma's a motherfucker. Streets catch up with you. <laughs> the streets ain't no joke, though. If you foul in these streets, though, they'll catch up with you. Come you on now. I mean? Uh... Well, 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 bro, Nip didn't deserve what he got. You know what I mean? That, that, and I'm gonna stand on that. He didn't deserve that. You know what I mean? Uh, a lot of our leaders don't don't deserve what they got. But when it was all said and done, it was God's purpose. You know what I mean? Yeah, when that's why for them to try to put that narrative out there. That's how. That's how. And see, the narrative just went from there. You yeah. know what I'm saying? When they try to say the homie got it cut sideways and all that old shit. So exactly. they just, you know, that just goes with. With the black culture, you know, they just try to run with the, yeah. with the ism and shit, you yeah. feel me? Like I said, they could have said anything but that, and it probably wouldn't involve me. I probably wouldn't have said nothing. If they would have, you know, the simple fact that they kept pressing that issue, that, that's what got me involved. Like, nah, I'm, I'm going to go say something regardless. That cud never said that, you know what I mean? And like I said, had they pushed any other angle or whatever, I, I wouldn't have had nothing to say, you know what I mean? By right, like I said, had they been beefing and they really had legitimate issues, I couldn't say nothing. I would have had to stick to the code, you know what I mean? Under them circumstances, I felt, and I, I waited, you know, it was, it was three years before they even the trial, so I waited. It, you know what I mean? So I had a long, I never looked at the, the actual videotape till the trial, you know what I mean? So, you know, my main intent was really to try to get at him though. You know, really was trying to get my hands around him or really if I could take flight on him or something. So I was showing up regardless. Uh, I didn't give a fuck how much time he got or nothing like that. You know, like I said, I still got homies calling me from the pen every day. You know what the internet did? The internet allowed people to witness people passing. Nah, Cause that's people that ain't really been out there in the streets and really been hugging the blocks, really doing what it do, yeah. they ain't never really seen nobody just leave the world right in front of their eyes and stuff. Yeah, so yeah. when it when it was like that, it's like damn, that shit is like magnified. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. So that's just like wake up everybody all over. You know what I'm saying? Like that just that shit is crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. You know, cause that was the same year Kobe passed. Uh, you feel me? Like the bat, yeah. Niggas was whoop when Kobe passed. You know what I'm saying? First it was Kobe, then them. You feel me? So, you know, that shit just, like on some L.A. shit, that shit kind of like, kind of like tore us down. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. 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 I mean, uh, when it come down to, you know, this is a start. This is, to me, a, this is a great thing. It's powerful. You know, I think that this could do a lot of good. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, you know, when it come down to the youth and the messages y'all trying to put out there, what what are y'all goals? You know, I know you said you you have your channel that you, you just started and everything like that, S-Bone, you know, and, and, and Cowboy, you've been doing your thing here, you know, on the podcast and everything. Um, um, what Besides those things, what would you say y'all, y'all goals are, you know, starting with you, S-Bone? My goals for the youth is is not to be quick to be using the hammer. 
You know what I'm saying? Don't be so quick to, you know, to, to, to shoot a nigga. You know what I'm saying? You ain't you ain't got to be always, you know, about the life or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Because they the next generation. You feel me? We got to love each other. You feel me? And I know it's hard out here. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you're already tied to something. You know what I'm saying? So if you're tied to something, it's really going to be harder than, than a regular civilian because they can kind of like live their life, but they still got to deal with it too because they black. And that's just the that's just the nature of the beast. Aside from whatever gang you from, you know what I'm saying. You're a black man. You gon' it, 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 this a concrete jungle out here in the world. You know what I'm saying. You gotta survive, especially if you coming up without 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 your father and all that old stuff. You know what I'm saying. You you learn it as you go. You know what I'm saying. No matter what age you is. So you know that's just what it is. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts, facts. What about you, big homie. Well, really about this. Like I said, put the guns down for sure, you know what I mean? Uh, start taking phase, you know what I mean? Let's implement something in the city where, you know, if niggas got issues, start taking phase. So if you got certain reputables, you know, that's kind of close to these youngsters, let them know, you know, start taking phase, you know. Uh, you know, when you structure gang stuff, it's, it, it's kind of hard because, you know, when you structure it and it's around uh, a negative activity, but if you structure it around a positive activity, maybe boxing rinks and different things and make a positive thing out of it, an uh, intervention, you know what I mean? We're not trying to organize these gangs. We want to organize them to peace. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? As long as we're talking about peace, we, you know. So if you do got issues amongst us in L.A., if, if L.A. implement that's just as a squabble zone, if y'all got an issue, you jump out and squabble up. I remember days we'd go out and we might see red rags. We'd jump out and squabble up. It wasn't about just shoot them up. We'd jump out. Man, where you from? Da -da -da, squabble up, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? So if you see your little enemies, y'all can jump out and squabble up and, you know, uh, put them guns down and have, you know, safe passes through LA for everybody, you know what I mean? Uh, this year on their birthday, this will be my third year for the, uh, of my uh, annual ceasefire. So this will be my third year. So on their birthday, uh, I do the ceasefire every every year. So we do a big little block party up at the shop. So then we'll be doing that again. And then, like I said, if we can do it, uh, a couple times a year, just a nationwide ceasefire, you yeah. know what I mean? So we do it on Nip's birthday, and we do it on the day that Nip was killed. So yeah. those fall like six months apart. Mm -hmm. So every six months, you know, motherfucker can go yeah. to the park and take Niggas a break. be low-key honoring just, that, too. If, yeah, if it's just one it's day, you know what I mean? If we can just start with, with that one day, the day of Nip's birthday, then on the day that he was killed, like I said, they're six months apart. So every six months, we got a chance to like, okay, you know what, we can go to the park today. It's that day we all gone. We ain't gotta be so much on swivel because we, we out here, you you on every car, you watching, you know, if you've been in these prisons, you've been out here gang banging, and you know how it go. Like, you know, so we're gonna be shot. trained like that anyway. It's gonna always be hard for us to just even- Let your guard down. Right. You know what I mean? You feel me? Uh, because that's all we know is survival. Yeah. You yeah, feel me? Yeah. I so was it's a, like uh, it's it, it, that's why I say it's 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 it's, it's the older niggas. Yeah, I was at a pop up uh, this weekend. It was hot water cornbread pop up, and uh, it was popping. I mean, this motherfucker was packed, and uh, uh, niggas from BPS pushed up on me like, "Bro, keep doing what you're doing." And he looked right. at me, he said, "Bro." Nigga, keep doing what you doing, like nigga, right. like, 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 nigga, yeah, don't, bloods be, like, he more like, bloods like, come up yeah, to me yeah, than anybody. He like, don't mm. switch, like, yeah, that's I mean, crazy. He basically tell me, like, uh, like he, basically, boys. he basically wow. tell me, like, nigga, don't switch. In up, traffic, nigga. I be yeah. like, damn, yeah. man, yeah. them niggas be, I be like, because you know, I'm, I'm like a regular nigga, and sometimes I forget, like, I guess I be on here or whatever. <laughs> I guess I'm on here, but you feel me? But you know what I'm saying? So you know, I be on shit. So niggas be like. Oh no, boom, no, no, I probably, I'm like, oh, yeah, oh. Yeah, yeah, cause on yeah. hood, nigga, I'm like, ah, G -G. And they like, oh no, no, I'm like, nigga, what? Cause I be forgetting. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cause I, like I said, this shit is regular. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I didn't get in here for no, no money. You know what I'm saying? The money will come. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? This is really about the message for for the people, whoever want to hear. You yeah, feel me? Yeah. Anybody else that got a problem, I ain't tripping. Nigga on hood, nigga. You already know. I'm a one man army, nigga. It is what it is, mm -hmm. nigga. But yes, this for the people that want to listen, nigga, you know what I'm saying? All ages. Yeah. You feel me? It ain't just for young people, older people, or none of that. You feel me? It's for it's for all people, blacks, preferably. Yeah. L.A., yes, South Central. Mm. You feel me? Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I ain't from Watts. I ain't from Long Beach. Yeah. I ain't from Compton. I ain't from Long Beach. I ain't from West L.A. Yeah. And I'm Watts, from Vermont, yeah. Vernon, Normandy, Western, 
all that. Crenshaw, yeah. all in that area. You yeah, feel yeah, me? Yeah. And and that's all the way on up. Watts know how to come together. Compton know how to come together. Everybody got their homies in check, bro. Yeah, they know how to come together. Everybody got their homies in check. That's why I said what I said earlier. It just need to be that one ism right there. Because everybody got their homies in check. Yeah. You feel me? It's just the homies and, and them boys right there. Yeah. You feel wow. Me? Powerful, powerful. You know what I'm saying? Well, you, you know, uh, um, I always like to, uh, you know, read a Bible verse, you know, t as we get towards the end. And after that, you know what I'm saying? S-Bone, you can say a last words. And then, you know, big homie closes out. So I'm going to just say this Bible verse. This is Proverbs 3, 5, 6. It's trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will in all you do, and he will show you which path to take. Proverbs 3, 5, you know, through 6. Um, so uh, Proverbs, I used to read Proverbs every day when I was in jail. Whatever whatever the date was, that's the chapter that I read. Yeah, yeah, Like wow. if it was the 22nd, powerful. then yeah. I read Proverbs 22. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. Feel okay, me? okay. So that's, that's another thing. If you want to uh, start reading the Bible, start reading Proverbs. Uh -huh. That'll make you probably get into start. it, you know what I'm saying? That's yeah. a good... That's a good book, Proverbs yeah, in the day. Bible, to start with. Yeah, yeah, definitely, Facts. definitely. Facts. We got any last words, Esbon? You know, anything to say to the people? You know, uh, anything? You know, I'm brand new in this, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shout out uh, to my nigga Cowboy, Nate yes, Blood on Hood. Love, I appreciate buddy. the uh, invite. Appreciate you, you know what I'm saying? Love, you know what I'm saying? I'm love. just like regular. I'm chilling. Shout out, uh, shout out to my mama, you know what I'm saying? That's you feel right. me? Shout out to my people. Shout out to everybody. You know what I'm saying? Neighborhood to the neighborhoods, you already know. Shout out to the Hoovers, Trays, Bloods, Gangsters, Pyros, Long Beach, all the way down to San Diego, all the way up north. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. To Frisco, Vallejo, Central California, the whole east side, y'all already know, the whole California. Shout out to everybody. Wow. Yes, Same sir. script. That's a lot of love. Yes, Definitely. Yes, a lot of love. Same script. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, yeah. Uh, back to that proverb. So sometimes it's not. You understand it. You might not understand what's going on. A lot of times, I don't understand why I'm going through certain shit, or I I might be somewhere and I get something. Like, why am I buying this? And later on, it'll come. You know what I mean? So, mm -hmm. they said, don't lead in your understanding. You don't you don't understand why God. But just know that. Just know that He got His hand on you, and know that you got a purpose. Mm -hmm. once, Everything for a reason. Yeah. Yeah. Once you know yeah. that, life is easier. We though. ain't. We really. When people, when you think you in control, he'll show you who in control. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we fact. really ain't getting in control. Yeah, exactly. like yeah. nigga, I'm I'm right here. Mm -hmm. Like nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like we ain't in control of nothing. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It's already written in the book of life. You know what I'm saying? Whatever's right. gonna happen in your life, you feel me? Yeah. It's just what you do uh, make your days numbered. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Even God, he. You know, he come with the with the hard hand with the throttle. You yeah, feel me? Yeah. So we can't be out here reckless. You know what I'm saying? Losing our, our like, like you know, it, it's a spiritual war. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you pray. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you humble yourself and make sure you stay focused. Mm -hmm. These things are key. Facts. Yeah. I don't care if you doing your thing, drinking, smoking trees, doing whatever. Stay focused. Stay grounded. Have your own mind. You know what I'm saying? And be a grown-up. Be yeah. an adult. Yeah. Be a man. Be a woman. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Be respectful. Yeah, yeah.